Yeah, I believe it. Mm-hmm. Uh, hey, how hey, are you? Great. Nice to see you. You too. Had a great weekend. You look sure. like it. Yes. You got your <laughs> t-shirt going. Look on. Sure. <laughs> You uh, got worked up over the weekend, and oh, this is yeah. your cool down portion of the week. Sure That's is. That's terrific. <laughs> yeah, I got to come into work for cool. What was I'm the highlight? Working. What was the highlight of your weekend there? What was your oh. highlight of your weekend there, kid? Come on, don't think too hard. Come on, Laundry. highlight. Laundry. Oh, yes. Screaming into the microphone so early. Laundry. Sounds good. Yes. It was a great time had by all. Wow. Boy, you should see it when the soap goes in the laundry machine. Oh, oh. I've, I've seen it a couple of times. Maybe not as many <laughs> times as you, Terry. But I have some experience. Wow. Baby. Really? Wow. <laughs> yeah. Some. The way that laundry detergent goes into that machine, oh, right, Terry? Oh, yes. yeah. Yes. That's hot. It is. Mm-hmm. Now, hopefully, well, you're a married woman, but hopefully most of you are you're wrapping up your clothes and covering it up good. Oh, yeah. I don't even know what we're talking about. <laughs> but, Terry, that was the highlight of your weekend. Yeah. Wow. You know. Wish that was the highlight of my wife's weekend. Oh, no. <laughs> what was the highlight of your weekend? Terry? Actually, she, if she's listening, she's screaming at the radio right now. I did laundry, you bastard. <laughs> um, the highlight of my weekend, Terry? Yeah. Oh, there was too many to count. Oh, wow. Yes. Jeez. Mm-hmm. Nice, then, huh? Can't, was... can't you just give me one? <laughs> well, I mean... Uh, Jaden's crawling on all fours. Yay! Wow, nice job. He'll be walking by the end of the month. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. By the end of the month. Yes. No. All right. Come on. It's always what you did. As soon as they start crawling, then they, they walk are, a month later. They are very quick. No. Very, you would well, be surprised. Obviously, your kids are. Uh, <laughs> because look at their mom. But uh, my kids are not going to be that quick. All right. <laughs> they had a long time to learn. All right. I see him uh, walking by like age five. Oh. Now, uh, come on. Seriously, though. Well, okay. what, 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 okay, you have I'll five be- kids. You don't even have the learning curve down yet, Terry. They, don't they crawl for like th- at least three months before they start walking? No. Whatever. You, mean, you need to have 17, 18 kids to figure out what's going on, yeah, Terry. Because, I guess so. Well, it's eight-month period now. How long did it take from him, like, scooting to uh, crawl? He's still mostly scooting. And, but, and but I told him, don't, don't get any knees. <laughs> it's just going to, come on, we got to get you a little baby knee pads? No. Do the army crawl. It makes he, more sense. Is he pulling himself up on anything? He's starting to, yes. Well, it'll be quicker than you think. Well, it right. won't be three months. Well, so he's going to say, well, I don't want to get this whole discussion here, Terry. All right. But you're, you're having him... You're having him walking by month nine. Uh, yes. All right. Well, you'll be wrong, but that's okay, fine. Okay, <laughs> fine. I don't fine. know many babies that are walking by month nine. Uh, all right. All right. It'll be interesting to see now. Pull a wager on this. Okay, let's do, because quite a number of babies walk by age, by month nine. Uh, nine to 12 months is, is a big walking stage. Nine to 12. Right, but I think a lot Steve, more. Do you have anything to say about this? Well, you know, I, I think that he may be walking soon. Mm-hmm. Scooting. He's picking himself up onto yep. things. He's scooting along on the ground. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. And, he's, and he's, well, I don't know if he's pulling himself up, like, and it's working, but he's trying. And that and that's what I'm saying. I mean, if you encourage uh, him and you stuff, he'll be fine. I don't need to talk about this anymore. <laughs> he's going to say, these boots are made for walking, yeah. Daddy, and I'm going to do it. <laughs> I'd rather talk about your big laundry weekend. <laughs> yeah. For five, seven people. I can't imagine the laundry ever stopping. It doesn't. In your house with seven people filling that mansion. No, it doesn't. And 16 nannies. So, I mean, the, well. Well, uh, the nannies are who make all the the mess. Well, (laughs) maybe they're the ones who should be cleaning it up and doing the laundry. Maybe they should, but, you know. Anyhow, uh, I just see you pushing Jaden down when he tries to start walking now. So I don't want Terry to be right. Mm. I know. Yeah, just that's fine. You wait till November. All right. (laughs) Uh, Hot Fudge Scott lost his first week uh, weekend's football game. Oh, Ooh, wow. In the history of his coaching career, the man was undefeated. The man hadn't been beaten. The man had uh, quite the legacy. Yeah. There was a standing ovation in the crowd, of course, when the <laughs> game was over and the score was finalized. And that had to make you feel good, even though you lost. The tribute they gave to you for being a coach for who for so long was undefeated. Oh, there's a Hot Fudge Street. Already mm-hmm. <laughs> created Already erected? Clock, so it's, great. <laughs> it's called Hot Fudge Way, Terry. And, uh, <laughs> I don't want to go there. Day phone operator's on it right now. Oh, man. Uh, well, congratulations to you. Oh, and, this, lost. <laughs> and this undefeated streak that, yes, unfortunately came to an end over the weekend. You lost, your team did, to uh, to what team? Uh, the Rat Bastards from Skyline. The Rat, rat ba- Bastards. Well, the, <laughs> that's now. Nice. I tell you something. They're, they're not, 11, right? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. The coach is a Rat Bastard. Okay. I, I've learned over the years that the Rat Bastards from Skyline, Terry, are always, well, at least over the past couple of years, are very talented in football. Wow. They kick the ass out of a lot of east, uh, east side teams. Sure. Mm. State champs in 2000. Yes. 
They were good. Yes, they were. Their high school team's undefeated Man, and not even really challenged. And now you got a, a look at the future of what will continue to be good high school football teams, obviously. It does look good for Skyline, yes. Mm. And their coaches were bastards, you said? Rat bastards. Rat bastards. I should have bitch slapped each and every one of them. Well, wow. oh, okay, so ladies and gentlemen, early on a, on a Monday, <laughs> we have comments. Violence. We have comments of violence and, uh, and a hot shot alluding to the fact that they... Uh, well, not alluding, pretty pretty directly yeah, telling you that they're yeah. that they're rat bastards. <laughs> right. I don't think he was beating around the bush for anything Notice on that one. That deserved to be bitch slept. <laughs> yeah. Just know I was the one coach that kept my temper intact. <gasps> oh, really? Boy, yes, you, you were the peacemaker. Shockingly, yes. That set is shocking. Yeah, that is. We are going to find out all the details of what went on <laughs> yeah. between coaches Can't during wait. a ten and eleven year old football game it's that had them almost coming to blows. <laughs> At some point this morning, just because you guys lost, huh? No, uh, it's 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 the ugly the ugliness that you hear about that you don't want ever to happen. That happened. Well, uh oh, can't wait to hear it. Well, we're gonna hear all about it. <laughs> I want every detail. I can't believe that if it weren't for you, things could have been more out of control as opposed to you <laughs> as opposed to you making it a yeah. situation that was out of control. Well, there was a coach that lost his mind, mm -hmm. <laughs> and it was not me. A coach lost his mind on the staff <laughs> of Hot Fudge Scott. That's right. The defensive coordinator couldn't take any more. Well, when you're used to winning, as uh, as his team is, Terry, and then all of a sudden you lose to a very capable team like Skyline, you sure. tend to maybe do things that are out of character and wish you could take back. Now, would this fall under the category of things that are out of character and this particular defensive coordinator wishes he could take back because he was being a sore loser or he had every right to react the way he did? Not out of character. Not wishes he could take it back. Mm-hmm. I can understand why he did it, but inappropriate nonetheless. Uh-huh. Wow. So it falls on both sides, Terry. When people are running flea flickers on you up 25 in the fourth quarter, <laughs> okay. it stings a little bit. I can understand, but inappropriate Terry, nonetheless. Terry, nothing, no better sight in the world than 10 and 11-year-olds running a flea flicker. <laughs> <laughs> okay. They still have their orange slices, though, right? Wow. <laughs> As I said, we're going to get every detail later. All okay. right. Seems like we got a lot now, but... We'll get them all later. Oh, there's more. In the meantime, we can just... <laughs> Plenty of more. In the meantime, until we get all those details, mm -hmm. we can just all feel good in our hearts knowing that the unveiling of Hot, sh hot Fudge Way has been uh, <laughs> brought into our communities. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's go to Issaquah now. Big block party in Issaquah oh. Hot Fudge <laughs> Way later today, yes. The team. In 623 at Cube93, I'm Stephen Kilbreth. Time for your news update. President Bush says Harriet Myers would be an outstanding addition to the Supreme Court. The president has nominated Myers to succeed retiring Justice Sandra Day O'Connor. Myers has never been a judge, but has been the White House legal counsel during the Bush administration. Police are investigating a fatal shooting this morning in Renton. Officers were called about 3 o'clock to an apartment where they found a man with a head wound, but no gun. Police say four people who were in another room were taken in for questioning. In other news, three teens accused of beating a 43-year-old man to death with bricks in Bellevue. The man was killed Saturday night in the Crossroads neighborhood after a party, and the investigation led police yesterday to arrest the teens. In sports, the Seahawks lost at Washington yesterday in overtime. The score 20-17. to The Hawks had a chance to win on the last play of regulation, but Josh Brown's 47-yard 47 47 yard field goal bounced off the goalpost. The M's ended their season <laughs> losing to Oakland 8-3 to yesterday at Safeco Field. They finished the season with a 69 and 90 record. Some clouds today with some scattered showers. Highs will be in the mid to upper 50s. Imagine your news update on Seattle's number one hit music station, Q93. And now back to the T-Man Show on Q93. From 47 yards out, score is tied at 17. The kick is up. Oh, oh, it's it's good. on the it's way. Good. It's good. And it is it's good. He was in shock. Yes. And awe. Well, we, everybody was. Yeah. We all were we sitting all there watching, were. going, looks good, looks good. Oh, it's curving. Oh, geez. Oh, oh doink. <laughs> doink. Doink is right. Mm hmm. That was, uh, of course, yesterday's Seahawk game. <sighs> yeah. The life of the kicker, Terry. <laughs> yes. That sucked to be one. Well, no, he's got the greatest job in the world, Terry. All he has to do is, uh, for, for uh, a couple of times on a Sunday, he only works Sundays. No, I understand. Because, I mean, that. what does he do really in practice? <laughs> oh, yeah, man, I'm looking busy. Yeah, got the yeah. key set up. Uh. <laughs> Nothing. And then on Sunday, he jogs in for a couple of plays. 
raises his right leg and gets a nice big paycheck, Terry. Yes, I understand. But but also, I mean, things like this, they hate him right now. Well, I don't know if hate, Terry, because, I mean, it hit the upright. It's not like he missed it terribly. A hmm. couple of inches to the right, and they're celebrating. I bet if he did it five more times, he couldn't hit the upright again. So that's pretty cool, actually. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. And then, of course, after the doink, this happened. The mark will come at the 30. This is a 40-yard field goal. For the game, in overtime, Nick Novak is in. The holder is Frost. There's the snap, the spot, the kick is up. Certainly long enough, and it's good. It's good. The Redskins win it in overtime. Mm. There they go. There it is. Mm. Chief on operator saying the same thing this weekend. It's certainly long enough. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the holder is Frost. Uh, Terry. Yeah. The headline in the sports section reads... Booted back to 500. Ouch. You are Seattle, a Seahawks. Yeah. They could have been 3 and 1. They could have been leading the division. Now they're 2 and 2, tied with the the dreaded Rams, Terry. Mm. And uh, that tie won't last long because coming this Sunday is a battle in St. Louis. Well, I see you in St. Uh, against the Rams. Mm. Now, not a good time, perhaps. Coming off this emotional loss and then traveling back from D.C., Terry, and then right. having to travel back over to St. Louis where they don't have a good history of winning. You get the point to have a game against the Rams. Not a great time to do that. No. But we'll have to wait and see. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Just going to have to tighten up those bootstraps and well. go on out there and play. <laughs> Terry, you want to make a locker room speech to the team? Because it sounds like you have the motivating powers because I'm ready to run on the field right now and kick some ass. Oh my gosh. I got my boots on. Yes. <laughs> I'm ready. And you know what I can tell you about these boots, Terry? What? Oh, never mind. <laughs> uh, what else is going on in the world, Terry? Are we watching the game? We w- of course I was watching the game. Well, it's great to fold sure. laundry to, I understand. Yes. Yeah, that's exactly what I was doing. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so well, I- so was I, coincidentally, Terry. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Gotta fold the laundry. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> so you were watching when the uh, the ball hit the upright? Yeah, I, mm. I did. And I watched the, the reaction and said, yeah, ah, grab the helmet off. Yes. No, whatever. <laughs> Even with the way they lost, Terry. It had to be more enjoyable than the way the Cougars went down this uh, this past yeah, that was, Saturday, right? Yeah, okay. that was not good either. Yeah. yeah. But what happened there? I, I, the coup did. When I went out, Terry, and I went out uh, to do some things on Saturday night, no. they were in complete control of that game. Yeah. Against Oregon State, which is not that great a team this no, year. No, I understand. And what the hell happened? I, coup did. <sighs> Sum it up. Yes. That's all I can in tell one you. One little phrase. <laughs> I think everybody cooped it this weekend. Mm. Sounds like yeah. bad weekend. Well, yeah, I hope, yeah, you're, I hope, no you're, not gonna, hope you're not going to say that the, well, the Huskies, I don't know if that was, oh, whatever. Really cooking it? You didn't really have the game under control at any point. 10 nothing halftime lead doesn't mean you have the game under control, Stephen. More under control than they've been in two years. Well, okay, fine. That's yeah. because they've been down 50 to nothing most of the time <laughs> over the past two years. <laughs> Let's go to someone who knows. Schwagger! Hey, Jake. Yeah, Schwagger. <laughs> yeah, to ask, to ask him. his one. life, I yeah. think, actually. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Came out of the womb. Up, cooked it. Oh, Jake. <laughs> All right. So have a nice life. Said. Schwagger. Yes. How are you, son? <clears throat> Well, I'm going to start my third week of college. Uh, wow. When, when does the count end? Uh, right. Never. <laughs> well, hey, man, I'm on my 47th week of college. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, something weird happened last week. Wow. Well, um, it I was must be pretty from... crazy considering all of your life, the way it's gone down up till now. But go ahead, yes. You, you learned were, something. You got your first pube. What happened? Um, I was coming home from college uh, on, like, Wednesday last week. He loves saying yeah. that he goes to college. Oh, no. He loves to throw in the term. He's very proud of himself, which is and that's nice. Good. That's yes. Good. And if he wants to keep on telling himself and the world that he's <laughs> going to college, well, that's fine. Yeah, we, we call it 13th grade, but you can call it college. Mm-hmm. Well, anyways. Well, I was on my way to college, and then at college, uh, <laughs> right. I was having lunch at college. And, I had my college sweatshirt on. Uh, right. Well, Holding my college books. <laughs> I, two girls stopped me in their car. And they were asking me if I would go out with their friend to the homecoming going on at SK this weekend. At SK. And they also, and they also got pictures of me. Mm-hmm. Now, this is the first time that anybody stopped me in public. They actually get pictures of me. Wow. They asked for pictures and treated you like the celebrity that you are. Yes. Mm. Unfortunately, I forgot their names. Right. Well, that's, <laughs> what that? a, that's what a good celebrity would do. Well, you meet so many fans, so of course that right. makes sense. Actually, this was the first time this ever occurred. 
So, Terry, Hi. the beginnings of his popularity in high school <laughs> are happening a couple of months after he's graduated from high school. Yes, yes. Yeah. Now that he's a college man. Yes. <laughs> Oh yeah, did he? Uh, he mentioned he when he's going to college. Yeah, there? Oh, yeah, I didn't, is. I didn't know that. He's going, he's going to college. He is. Well, that's that's pretty impressive. Yeah, it is. Uh huh. So, what are we going to do about the swagger? Well, if I find him again, I'm going to ask him if they if their friend really does want to go to homecoming. So you're so inexperienced at dealing with these situations that you don't think about like asking for a oh geez what a phone number or an email address or anything like that. What's that um, for, they man? It, but I but I refused. You refused? Yeah, they, yes. Why, I, was in a, I was in a hurry. You said, they said, would you like uh, our cell phone numbers? And you said, no, I refuse. I'm in a hurry. No, uh, my exact words were, no, you're women. I refuse. <laughs> no, <laughs> my brother. exact words were, no, thank you. I have to get going. And you'll probably find me walking around somewhere. Jeez, so you wanted to test fate. He wants to see if they'll bump into each other again, Terry, because it's really meant to be. They will bump into each other again. That's how he sees it. It's like serendipity <laughs> with, uh, with Schwager as the star. Why doesn't he just go to SK campus and seek them out? Yeah, because that would make him look like a bigger loser than he already has oh, okay. established himself at SK campus. And of course, that would make me somewhat of a stalker, Terry. I don't think I want to be that. Well, you didn't have to be a stalker. They were right there wanting you, Schwager, taking pictures with you, asking you if you can take their phone number down. Why did you refuse? I well, still I am not gonna, getting this. Okay, I was in a hurry to get home, okay? What, what could you possibly <laughs> have at home? Sleep. For sleep. Okay, I've been very sleep deprived. And of course, it takes like hours and hours to write down a girl's phone number. Right. Which would have prevented you from missing out on a ton of sleep. Do you hear how ridiculous that sounds, Schwager? Yes, I do. You weren't able to get their phone number because you had to go home and get to sleep. How, how long does it take to write a phone number down? I mean, you're a college man. Right. Well, probably 30 seconds. Okay. So then what What was the problem? I'm not understanding why you didn't get a, a number or something. Here are well, three girls basically saying, we want you. Mm -hmm. Were you scared? Tell me you were scared. Tell me something that makes sense. It was just, a, this is, it's just a, something like that never happened before. It was awkward. Yeah. You, were, you were caught off guard. Yes. And when they uh, said the phrase, do you want our phone numbers... Because you were so caught off guard and so beside yourself with, Actually, with confusion, you number. said you said no. They asked for your phone number. Yeah, they first asked for my phone Even number. Even better, I... man. If a girl wants you that bad that she wants to call you. Man, um, they, they treated you like the man. They basically said, we want the ball in our court because we don't believe a big superstar like you. If we gave you our numbers, you'd never call us. Ooh. Swagger. They're probably listening to this right now. Mm, because you are the celebrity, and uh, they sit there listening, just oozing over your every word. It's life is hitting the goalpost. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <sighs> Schwager. Yes. Uh, what What have we uh, learned from this situation? I always have a piece of pen and paper ready. Schwager, you don't need <laughs> a pen and paper ready at all times to get girls' numbers or just figure out how to get a hold of them, dude. Well, they were asking for yours. Yeah. And I'm sure they were prepared to write it down or put it in their cell phone. They were chance. prepared to do anything, Terry, because they knew they were in the presence of... Swagman! Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's not every day you come across... Swagman! Mm -hmm. Come across! <laughs> but yeah, for, that, for that one lucky day, they had found... Swagman! And they were ready to pounce on... Swagman! And they did everything they could to secure... Swagman! However... Swagman! Did not... <laughs> Hold his end of the bargain up, Terry. I understand. Yeah, Swagman, the man, messed up. He, he, he didn't just mess up, Terry, but he must be really working hard at trying to mess up because it was yeah. so damn easy. This was yeah. fall, this was so falling into his freaking stupid lap the hand that, he, that he had to work his ass off to, to make this it. not work out. I am going over to the high school Friday. Mm -hmm. There's a homecoming game. <laughs> See, <laughs> and then he's telling me oh, yeah. you don't. You didn't. Ha it hadn't, didn't have to come to the swagger. Didn't have to come to you going to the to the school looking for them now. Because um, actually, I'm going over there because of work. Right. Um, they're right, having so you, a homecoming game this Friday, and they want to put it live on TV. Okay, so you want to let them know that if they're listening, you realize that uh, you should have gotten their numbers or given them yours, but you're willing to make it all up by being where at what time. I'll be at SK High from noon till 9. I'll be at SK okay. High. Wow. Well, you know, in his defense, maybe if you don't have a phone, you can't give a number out. Oh, but he does have a phone. 
He's I got, do have a phone. He has a trailer he's, park phone. Oh. And he's got and he's a, got cell, a cell, phone. cell phone. That's right. He's got a cell phone he's now. Talking oh, wow. on it now. He's a big time swag man with uh-huh. a cell phone. Uh-huh. He goes to college there. I know. Lotty da with his cell phone now. Swagger. Uh, <laughs> 12 p.m. to 9 p.m. is a pretty large time frame for them to hunt you down. Do you want to yeah. make a more specific time, you know, maybe like 2.45 by the flagpole or something? <laughs> Give me something that they can sink their teeth into and, uh, and understand that there's a little rendez vous going on between those three and... Swagman! Mm-hmm. Why not in the video room where oh, he's going to be? That's what we're going to be the entire time. The video room. That's what Terry would suggest. Yeah, Man, that's <laughs> amazing how Terry just is able to slip back into that little high school college mode oh, real quick. Yeah. She's an old pro. Yes. Wiley old veteran. <laughs> Dark room, four feet... 4.15. Uh, swag, ma'am. And don't expect yeah. to get out of there until 6.30. Wow. <laughs> what, what time specifically are you going to indicate to them that you'll be in a certain spot? Well, I'm going to be in the video room. It's your hard, it's your hard of working for him, Terry, to get I, something I do. done here. Why not? <sighs> Well, really, right, right. you could have had it yeah. done earlier. You're right? going to be in the video room, which I'm sure they're very familiar as to where it is. Uh, you're going to be in the video room when? Most likely all night. All night? Wow. Yeah. We're no. playing the game live. It's our ho- it's the first it's our homecoming game. They're going to put it live, and I'm the only one that really knows how to operate the system. How to operate the system? Now, uh, <laughs> wow, during live. during My the God. so you're saying during the game, <laughs> if they want to slip away from the bleachers or under the bleachers, wherever they are, uh, they can go over to the video room, and you'll be in there with like a whole crew. Well, no, it's just going to be me. Wow! All, All right, Terry. He's, he's either going to get triple teamed or beaten up badly. Uh, <laughs> Schwager. Yes. That's very key and vital information, and uh, I'm sure not only am I, but they're very appreciative that you uh, gave that out because uh, that's that's pretty damn specific, Terry. If they, yes, it is. If they really want him as the star that he is and a college man to boot, Terry. Yeah. Then they know where to find the swag man. Mm-hmm. Right in the video room. Yeah. Or as we call it, the nerdery. <laughs> the nerdery. He'll be in the nerdery <laughs> from kickoff. Until the final gun sounds. Weatherman here again with your spring break forecast, so let's take a look. It's going to be wet for the next five days with highs in the 50s, lows in the 40s. For the next five days after that, basically your same thing. Mm. <laughs> so that's basically it for your weather forecast. That's it for me, Swagman. Your weatherman, just a reminder to all SK senior boys oh boy. that if you want to be Mr. <laughs> SK this year, mm-hmm. pick up an application form today in the comments during the lunches. That way you can be crowned Mr. SK. Yeah. So, back to you, Melissa. And man, I wish I was going to the Bahamas. Hey, Jerry, I can't believe it was just three girls. Yeah. Beating down his friggin' door, trying to get a hold of the... Swagman! Mm-hmm. <laughs> It starts with three, Terry. Yeah. But that's not where it ends for Swagman. Really? Oh, the groupies have just begun to make their presence known. <laughs> groupies now, waiting by his bike now, for him to come out. Yes. <laughs> Most groupies wait by a, a celebrity's car. <laughs> Unfortunately, all Swagger can offer is a bike. And yet they're still willing to wait, Terry, right by the <laughs> kickstand. <laughs> Get away from my man's bike. <laughs> <laughs> well, I could. See those fights myself happening too, Terry. Well, oh uh, Schwagman, Schwagman, oh, when he hung up, oh, yeah. he's big timing us now. He can't, <laughs> he can't even say goodbye anymore. He said his piece, and now he's moved on with his day. No, the cell phone time is up. That's all. What happened there, Pasty? I don't know. I don't know. Just, just off well, one. I'm a college man. I got college things to do. <laughs> right, right. He didn't even say goodbye. Oh, my gosh. He's got to go home and sleep. Well, we should be thankful for the time we had with Swagman this morning. He is a very busy celebrity slash college man, Terry. Yes, he is. And uh, I guess we got all the important details. The nerdery during the game, Terry, is where he'll be. Yes. You'd think it would take an entire crew to broadcast a football game, or at least a few people. Right. Swagman alone will be handling all the heavy details, making sure that game is brought into your television, into your living rooms, ladies and gentlemen. and. Yeah. Crystal clear digital color. There you go. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Technicolor. Yeah, Technicolor. <laughs> right. There it is. <laughs> or maybe wow. they would train somebody else who actually goes to the school. <laughs> <laughs> also an option. <laughs> Nobody interested. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the T Man. The all new K. Has supermodel Kate Moss checked herself into rehab? Oh, geez. Yes. Mm. Published reports claim Kate, who was photographed doing what appeared to be cocaine, has entered the Meadows Clinic in Arizona, nice. where she'll spend the next month cleaning up and rebuilding her Whoa, life. Oh, that sounds nice. Uh, 
There's also video of her snorting coke, supposedly. Not right? just photos, but an actual video. You can put right that there in the library next to the R. Kelly <laughs> and the uh, Paris Hilton <laughs> videos, Terry. Yes. All mm -hmm. my favorites. Mm-hmm. Under the T-Man Greatest Hits little marking. <laughs> yes. Mm. Uh -huh. Apparently, it was taken at a recording studio while the British band Baby Shambles Baby was, Shambles, uh, yes, yes. recording some tracks. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Her boyfriend is... Uh, the lead singer or something. Mm. Is he responsible for taping? It's always the boyfriend. Oh, I don't know. Gets you in trouble and embarrasses you like that. <laughs> but I'll I'll try and get that video. Uh, okay. You go to the haunted house over the weekend there, Vinnie the Pooh? I did. Yes. It was a, it was a madhouse down there. It was a mad there haunted was like, house, there was like mm. 200 screaming 12 and 13, 14 year olds running around everywhere. All for you? Screaming your name? Oh, not for me. Oh! <laughs> no, I don't know. They were just... You can definitely tell their parents weren't anywhere around. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and you made sure to take a good hard look to oh, I did. verify whether that was the case. <laughs> I did. All right. She looks alone. But oh, was, stop <laughs> it. Uh, it was fun, though. Yes. Well, you're as skinny as their potential boyfriends in the, uh, in the sixth grade. So. I could have easily been mistaken for it. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Just imagine if he shaved off the little hair that he has around his face and whoa. I mean, sixth graders. That's why he has the hair around his face, by the way. The only thing. Mary the Pooh, the only thing as hair. long as I've known him, Terry, which is a good bit of time now, it's yeah. like two years. As long as I've known Vinnie the Pooh, Terry, he's always had the goatee. You know, people with a goatee usually have a week or two there where they try uh, uh, times without it. Vinny the Pooh refuses to do that because he knows he'll look like a, a fifth grader. I can't do it. <laughs> Him and his brother will get mixed up. Mm -hmm. like, oh, she's supposed That's to why he wears five shirts. <laughs> Is that true, too? I do, sometimes. You have to wear five shirts. <laughs> to bulk up. <laughs> and the goatee never takes a day off. Never. Not a single day. I couldn't do it. I'd look weird. And it always looks exactly the same. Yeah. Mm. Well, when you go to the barber every other day. Yeah. Which is not overstating it, right? You pretty much go every other day. Yeah, every, yeah, I understand every that. two days. Yeah. Hair, every well, two every two days. Every, every, every two, two days. days. Yeah. <laughs> so not every other. I thought day. it was every other day. Right. No, that's a little, little too much. Every oh, other day. <laughs> every two days isn't. Okay, mm. um, I was kind of thinking we were all joking about this, but you understand every other day I and every two days. Same thing. Yeah, it's the same thing. Well, I mean, every other two, three days is where I go. <laughs> so you go on every story. three days is what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. Do you understand that every two days and every three days is a all right, never mind. It's time <laughs> okay. to trade in the Booker Quotes for a book of math. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Hey, you've been focusing too much on the quotes, and you've been neglect neglecting math there, Vinny. Yeah, I, I can tell. Okay. Uh, <laughs> when you go to the barber every three days? <laughs> yes. So, like, Monday, Thursday, and then the next would be Sunday? Sunday. Yeah. yeah. Sunday, yeah. Okay. Or any variation of the three, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, you does he touch up your goatee when you're there? Yeah. Oh, he does. Okay, that's part of the package deal when mm -hmm. you pay him nothing. Mm -hmm. yeah. I tip him. Oh, you tip oh, him. Yeah. Good deal for him. Yeah. He owns the joint. Uh, yeah. Okay, so. It's his name on the wall. Oh, jeez. What do you tip for a beard trim? Stevens is Stevens heavily yeah. considering right now going down with uh, you if the price is right. Uh, sir, your chin's too big. That's <laughs> double. <laughs> Double. We're not. We're not trimming that. <laughs> we have people waiting, sir. There's no way we can get to your uh, yeah. chin today, sir. We've just dulled my razor, getting halfway through your <laughs> through your chins. Uh, what do they charge for your typical chin trim? Oh. Just the chin area? Yes. Like seven bucks. Something like seven that. bucks. Something like that. It's not, it's not the cheapest amount you would think. Well, for well, a beer, for a, for a chin trim? Well, what do you tip, though? For yeah, that's what I was wondering. He said he gets it for free. Yeah, so Vinny the Pooh has, no, he has no idea of the prices. He's just guessing right. because right. he hasn't paid. Just Truthfully, like, I just go in there, like, every, like, two weeks, I'll just give him, like, X amount of dollars and be like, okay, are we good? And he'll be like, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, every person that cuts your hair always says come back for a touch-up, but nobody ever does it. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I, I normally give every time I get touched up, I, I give them ten dollars. Every time you get touched, you oh. <laughs> touched up. give them ten dollars. That's right. Add four fingers. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> so Thirty bucks a week. So you got a good little deal going at the Bob shop there for yourself. Is mm. that right? That's right. And and I don't really get my hair cut a lot, so. But well, he touches it up. Oh, of course. Right. So that's why you don't have to get it cut that much because you get it touched up every two or three days. Mm -hmm. All right.
There you go. I've never had a man cut my facial hair. Maybe I'll try. <laughs> it's kind of weird. <laughs> really? How does this feel? Good. <laughs> you want a thin mustache? And then part of the deal, part of the that? deal is you take him out to uh, to dinner or whatever every once in a while, right? I mean, if we're out, I'll, I'll buy him drinks. Did like, you go to my restaurant over the weekend? I did. Ah, oh, I knew you wouldn't let me down, Terry. Mm. I did. Vinny the Pooh is a loyal customer because yes. he knows where to go. To make it happen, Terry. Mm -hmm. For dinner last night. Last night? Wow. Mm -hmm. How are we doing? Were we crowded? You guys were uh, definitely filling up fast. That's not crowded. <laughs> no, I, I, came, I, I came in. I came in. Dude was like, uh, table for one. I was like, uh, yeah. He's like, uh, and it immediately tried to put me in the bar, like away from the... Because like, you're a table for one. Well, the, there was no room in the dining room because there was like families for... Yeah, but why would you want to eat in the dining room alone? You, you went it's by not yourself? I, I'm starting to feel bad for you, dude. No, you, it's... Did you go to dinner alone? No, I went with a friend. Well, why, why would you ask for a table for one? <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just saying. Don't be embarrassed if you went to dinner alone. Went, no, because... It's all right. I've got a dinner met. alone. What? Did, did you meet somebody? No, I went, I, went, I went with a friend, but I didn't know if they wanted me to sit at a smaller table or if we could get, like, a larger booth because families were filling if, in. If you were two people, why would you ask for a table for one? Like a one person... like a, Oh, I see, because you knew that there's no such thing as a table for one, so if your friend... All right, whatever. I, but, I, that's, but that's their decision. Not yours on, that, on where to sit you. I was just asking out of politeness because I didn't know if... I was like, I want to sit there even though there was families, you know. Who was your friend that went with you? My friend's name? Think quick, quick, quick. Ivan. That's Terry, I think there's a possibility Vinny the Pooh went to dinner by himself last night. Oh my what? God. And it's a little bit embarrassed and telling us that. I'm embarrassed. There's yes. no shame. I've been to dinner before by, by myself. Oh, right? uh, <laughs> were you going to dinner alone last night or not? No. You weren't. Mm -mm. You were meeting Ivan. He's my friend. <laughs> yes, everyone has a friend named Ivan. Oh, yeah, course. my buddy Ivan. Ooh. His brother Nikita? Yes. <laughs> I'm a little lost. Cousin Stalin? What? Anyhow, so you and Ivan had a nice small little booth, or you went in the bar, we at, in the bar. at Sport? Yes. Okay. What'd you order? I ordered the honey uh, barbecue little bits. Things that all right. Need to order a little bit more. <laughs> Fill out that frame. <laughs> that way you wouldn't have to layer so many shirts Fill on. Fill out that frame of yours and ring up the check a little bit. Uh, <laughs> Quit loitering. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> so you had, you had some honey barbecue wings and what else? Anything else? Mm, I wasn't really hungry. We that was drank it. a little bit, yeah. But that was your dinner. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't really hungry. I just I went to go eat. That's the problem. You're never really hungry. That's why you're 140 pounds. <laughs> that is a problem. All right, anyhow. Yes. Right. <laughs> so you had uh, wings and what else? Uh, that's the only thing I had. And my my guy had... Um, <laughs> oh, oh, you know what I mean? Now he's my, my dude, my All friend. All right. I'm sorry, our terminology is completely different over here. So you're... Well, okay, what do, I, what do I call my... Well, a com my what? friend. So other 21-year-olds, are, are you trying to make the... Uh, you're trying to allude to us the other 21-year-olds are, are more than comfortable saying when talking about their friend, my guy? What do you, you don't say my guy? Or, well, I'm asking you. You're saying that our I, terminology is different. We're, we are about 10 to 15 years older. What's serious about well, 100 30. years older than you? Okay. <laughs> yeah, right. Are you saying that the 21-year-olds of today, because we're not 21-year-olds, we'll be the first to admit that. Okay. Are you saying, though, that 21-year-olds like yourself, when talking about a buddy and talking about the evening that they had out, they, they refer to them as my guy? Yes. So you're saying, like, when you guys are at the club, you go, hey, I, me and my guy went to the club. Yeah, my guy, my dude, my... my All right, no, my, my dude is different. Let's thing. concentrate on my guy, because yeah. that's what my, you said. Okay, yeah, it, it does not matter. I'll have a vodka Red Bull and my guy will have a beer. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is, that, is that stuff that you're saying? You're saying other 21-year-olds are saying that, and that's cool? Yes. Really? So in your circle, huh. that's how that you guys all talk. That wouldn't yes. have worked in our day. No. no. When, <laughs> when we were 21-year-olds, year and we were hanging out with, if I was hanging out with like me and just one other guy, I'm not walking around talking about my guy over here. <laughs> my dude works. Yeah, my dude. My buddy. My whatever. Not my guy. Like my grandpa. See, oh, he was my guy. That, that was my guy. No, but Vinny the Pooh is saying that my guy is very acceptable and it doesn't give any kind of homosexual reference whatsoever. You're telling me that. You're sure I'm, about I'm that. I'm telling you that. Yeah, I call all my, if I put my, other, my guys. If I, if I open the phone lines right now and I talk to other 21-year-old dudes right now on the air, it shouldn't be a problem. They'll say to me. Shouldn't be. be. Well, I mean, people people are different, but I'm just saying. I, that's what I, So in I, your cir circle of friends, all of your, not only you, every, but, but like Ivan says, oh, yo, Vinny's my guy. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. No, that's not, that's, all right, yeah, I guess that would be close to what we're talking about here. But the fact that he said, 
I had uh, barbecue wings, right. and my guy my had. My guy had. Yeah, no, I. <laughs> You're I, saying that's very acceptable terminology. Doesn't give any reference to you being like a little bit of a couple type. <laughs> couple type. <laughs> no. Yeah, that wasn't a slip of the tongue by you saying my no, guy. I say my guy all the time. It doesn't matter from what mm. dude was eating. Mm. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! My guy in the chiffon yes. scarf. Well, I would laugh. I would laugh if I knew what the song was. Oh jeez. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, another beer here for my guy. <laughs> I don't see what the big deal is. He's my. He's my guy. Well, if you say my. my. He's my dude, my, my partner. My boy, my brother. I can see my, my, my boy, you don't think my boy is worse? Too? This is my boy, this is my child. Completely different reference. As far as, li- listen, I'm not saying that. You are saying you're playing the my guy music. Well, <laughs> you don't even know what it was a second ago. Right, right, I right, know what it is now. Now let's all be quiet and listen to all the thoughts about my guy. <laughs> oh, jeez. She, she has the same voice as me in the poop, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Okay. Yeah, I don't think you'll be deceiving your guy either there, Vinny the Pooh. Yeah. <laughs> Best people either. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Do you think your guy is tops there, Vinny the Pooh? Oh, what? Oh, what was that? <laughs> My point is, is this. I want to make it very clear. It's a completely different meaning when you talk about my, my, uh, my friend, my, my, my dude, my, my dude, partner, my, my, partner, my, my brother, my, my, my bro, right. my, my boy, you know, but when you say my guy, maybe. You don't think my boy sounds just as, like. Well, it depends how you say it. My right. boy. Yeah, right. Or it my boy. My guy. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the same thing. That's my boy, Hot Fire Scott. <laughs> Right. I wouldn't say that's my guy, Hot Fudge Guy. That's my guy. I mean, normally I say that's my butt buddy, Steven. <laughs> so there's one of there's one of two ways to go with this. Here are the two responses I'm looking for. Give me one of the two. You tell me which which one of the two is more accurate. Okay. T Man, I was caught on the moment on the show. Things happen really fast on your show. That was a slip of the tongue. I wish I could get out of that and change it to uh to my my friend, my buddy, my bro, whatever. And then I and you're right, that sounded a little weird. Or Hey, T-Man, maybe you're not aware, but 21-year-olds are saying my guy just like they're saying my buddy, my pal, and, and you're, you're off on that. T-Man, you're off on that. Mm-hmm. People are saying, go to the phones. <laughs> Terry doesn't believe you. Terry wants me to go to the phones. People where I'm from, they say my guy. Well, I mean, I guess the, the, dude, the reason why my, my hums. I, I think you're kind of off on it is, and, and granted, 14 to 21 is a, is a huge gap in age, too, but still, it's not really that far. You're still kind of in that, I mean, young, hip, whatever. Yes. And uh-huh. I don't think I've ever heard Darius talk about his friends at school, like, hey, my guy, so-and-so, or... Well, if you say it almost like that, my guy, so well... But still, it's my... All right. Just I, I, something about ordering for someone. We're just basically saying, <laughs> the way you said it, if that was said a few years ago when we were 21, mm-hmm. it would have been the equivalent of, like, calling him Poop Boy. All right? <laughs> Whatever we're going outside of, we, all I smell is poop. Okay. okay, let me go to the phones. All right. And we'll get... The poop. <laughs> we'll figure out what the hell is going on here. Please do. You're on the air. Hello. Hey, Lock 21, you're else checking in or no? How old? Are, how old are you, sir? You said about forty-seven. <laughs> Who's this? Hello. 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 Yes. How old? Who's this? This is Corey. Corey, how old are you, Corey? I'm twenty-seven. Okay, and what would you like to tell us? Well, I, I hang out with a lot of guys who are, uh, you know, twenty to twenty-four year olds, and I would never go out to a Go out to some club or something and say, my guy, hey, get my guy a beer and I'll take a, a vodka. No way. Mm-hmm. That, that's a, I have never, ever questioned Vinny the Pooh's sexuality. <laughs> no, I, I, trust me. <laughs> if, if Vinny the Pooh uh, is wrong about his my guy theory... It's only because it was a slip of the tug, like I said, with that first right. option, and he got caught up in the moment, and now he's just trying to save face here. There's no question in my mind. I've seen Vay the Pool roll around. He, oh, geez. He is, uh, 
He roll about town if you want okay. to. Yeah. He is a uh, no, 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 roll over this way. He's as heterosexual as every man needs to be who is heterosexual right, to Right, right. All right. Yes, There's no I questioning no. his sexuality. Right. Uh as far as the point of view I've seen, the girls he's hanging out with, sure. Terry, the way mm -hmm. he's uh the way he's talking, the way he's making it happen. Okay. Right. However We know he likes girls. If you <laughs> if you have a moment where you have a slip of the tongue on this program, you have to own up to it. Say, T man, I'm just getting started out pretty much on your show. I get a little intimidated at times, and I'm sorry I said my guy. I mean, it's early, and oh. I do get nervous. Well, no, but, you can't play both sides now. Yeah, but so I'm, like, I'm not taking it back. I people, I I say my guy. Mm -hmm. And people and, who and I'm with say my guy. The circle of friends that you handle, all your buddies say, say my, my guy. guy, my guy, my dude, my partner, all of the above. Mm -hmm. It's better than my boo, I guess. <laughs> yeah, see, you know. Yeah, that would be pretty much the, the equivalent as far as yeah. I'm concerned. Yeah. This is my poo, and this is my poo. Oh, jeez. <laughs> All of Vinny's friends right now are out there going, please don't mention me by name, Jim, please. <laughs> we already have Ivan. Mm -hmm. He's hanging out there Ivan is, all by himself. All, Ivan is already packing up and leaving the country. <laughs> Vinny, says, please, don't mention anyone else. Let's just change the name to Yvonne. <laughs> You're on the air. Hello? Yes. Hi. Hi. What's up? What do you got? Yeah, I, I just commented on uh, on that as well. Mm-hmm. Because I'm, uh, I'm, I'm 24, and and uh, it's not a huge age difference, and that's that's kind of gay, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, that's homo. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, so but, far, if any of the poo. Oh, I don't know. These, are, these sound like outskirt Ivan people. Out these are outskirt people. So if yeah, they were more, are... if they were more urban, if they were more on the straight, I'm thinking if... I'm, I'm, I better have a, a better chance with the with the with the callers. I guess if they were more. See, these are too many country folk checking in. Is what you're saying? Sounds, you sounds... want some of the city people to call in and verify that my guy is uh, not anything out of the ordinary. I think the people who say my guy aren't up yet. So. Oh, <laughs> So my guy, my guy speakers are the ones who are like in the club that you are in. And they're still and tired out from last I, night's big Sunday night at the club, Terry. I guess there. so. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm. Let's keep going then. Find those uh, <laughs> those just waking up or ready to say my guy without any... Problem. It's not a big... I, I don't know. You're right. It's not that big a deal. It just caught Wait, us a little uh, off guard when you said I had the wings and my guy had <laughs> oh man yes, it sounds it weird even sounds weird. And by the way we never let you finish what did your guy have by the way <laughs> yeah. it was some kind of sandwich I can't even oh, see, now, now, you don't, so now you don't even want to I don't know man you guys are asking what he had you don't even want to think about it anymore do you no well, it wasn't just some kind of sandwich you get at a sport restaurant and bar located conveniently across the street from the Space oh, Needle I'm, I'm, I'm get, whatever sandwich it was I'm sure it was delicious it, was, I, it was a I know it was delicious your guy your guy <laughs> the sandwich of the year <laughs> At Sport Restaurant and Bar. That, Conven that is, conveniently located across the street from the space. Of course. Okay. I had the wings. My guy provided the sauce. <laughs> oh, jeez. Stop. That's not the kind of, uh, kind of sauce you put wings. No, no, no. Do you pay for your guy? <laughs> <laughs> Who paid last night? Your guy or you? Oh, man, we paid separately. For you did. He, he paid you went Dutch. Went Dutch yeah. You and your guy? Oh, is that what it means? <laughs> See, uh, I've never heard that phrase before in my life. <laughs> You're on the air. Hello. There's such yes. an age gap. What's up, Team Al? Hey. What's up, Steven? Oh, hi, how are you? Winnie the Pooh. Uh-oh. What's the two? It's not Winnie, but that's close <laughs> enough. <laughs> Maybe it's Winnie to you this morning. Yeah, I think so. Go ahead. Yes, so sir. Yeah. Hey, what's up, sir? <laughs> so I just, I just want to call him in, man. First of all, I did go to sport yesterday. Oh, so you did? Yeah. See, Terry, the place is filling up. That's what he said. You yes, still have yet on. to go to my restaurant. I had a, I had a Kobe burger, and it oh, filled me up pretty good. Oh, yeah, that's good. They're good. You got a Kobe bur burger, Terry. and uh, stay out here, huh? Yes, and he had it not against his will. <laughs> 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 but no, I just wanted to say, though, no, I mean, uh, 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 what Winnie Buddha said, I heard, so, I heard that so many times. I don't think it's a gay thing, you know what I'm saying? But... You know what I'm saying? I mean, if you say it in a certain way, I could see if it was gay. But you know, the way he said it, then you know, it wasn't just like you know, he could he, he could have said something else. But it, everybody knows what he meant. All right, we'll, put, we'll put this guy is uh, on the fence. Right. Well, I mean, sir, would you call your buddies that you hang out with my guy? I mean, I haven't I haven't said that personally, but you know, a couple <laughs> of my homies might have said that. So you you've know? heard that around. I don't That's... think it. I don't think it. I don't think he said it to me as a, like. Oh, what's up, man? You're getting, you know. Well, I'm asking you, have you heard other people say it that way these days? Is that something yeah, that's become more yeah. and more acceptable? I'm, 20, I'm okay. 25, and I, I, I didn't hear it pointing, you know. So 21 year olds are, are calling their buddies their guy. <laughs> see, he's <laughs> laughing. He's laughing about it. I'm <laughs> asking you a question. I don't see why it's like. Uh, no, I'm not, I'm, <laughs> no, I'm just saying, no, man. It's, it's, it's cool, man. Because it's up till yesterday, that was a, a kind of a. 
a way a woman refers to his man right, is what right, we're saying. Right. Now, if you're telling us that we're waking up this morning and guys are saying about uh, their guy their friends, friends are calling friends, them yeah. their guy, well, then we want to know. Well, then what are the ladies calling their their men? I mean, wow. <laughs> I mean, women. My bitch. Women can call them. Women can call them anything. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like well, this say, this guy, this guy is too on the fence. Well, right. He's not giving us a direct answer. Well, and I think that all of a sudden he's realizing he's, what you were saying. But he's, he's heard like, it before. See, Terry, when you have such a succulent Kobe <laughs> beef burger at sport <laughs> restaurant and bar, it totally just it just completely <laughs> makes you forget about the rest of the world because it's just so <laughs> exhilarating. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, but he, but he said he'd heard it before, so it's it's obviously not a new thing. That right. Right. Well, here's a person who says it's definitely not new to him <laughs> to say in his life. His guy, when referring to a very special person in his heart, you're on the air. Yeah, I'd like to talk to my guy, Vinny. <laughs> oh, Yo, man, hang up the phone. Good <laughs> right. okay, morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. How you doing? Oh Still my sexy. god! Sounds like we're doing a bit better than you. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. All right. Thanks for checking in. Hang on the line, I guess, if you want. Get that voice in gear. Okay. He got so excited and worked Whoa. up that he, he called before he gargled this morning. Mm. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Getting ready for the big day at the park. <laughs> Let me see here. Here's a 21-year-old. I don't know what the deal is. You're 21? Hello? Hello? Turn your radio down, dude. Hello? Guy. Hey, turn your radio down. Be my guy. Come on. My radio's down. What's up, man? What's up? What do you got? Uh, I just wanted to say, man, it's pretty normal to say my guy. I've said my guy before. Okay. Mm -hmm. the push I'm off? sticking up for Vinny today on the show, man. <laughs> okay, Ivan. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for the call. <laughs> Vinny, as far as I'm concerned, you are off the gay hook. <laughs> Thank you. you. Talk about your guy all you want. <laughs> <laughs> all right? All right. Yes. What are you and your guy doing tonight? Uh, we're going to go to the bathhouse, D-Man. <laughs> Back on the hook. <laughs> the D-Man. Power, power. Call now to win Q93 Haunted House tickets at 1-866-663-D-Man. I dare you to call Cube 93. So I'm sitting down, I'm gonna hear no words. Oh, I know what, Terry. Oh. You know what? Yeah. <laughs> Talking to a Big Mac, of course. Mm -hmm. Come on, yeah. <laughs> oh, is it that time already? Are we uh, right up against the cue to Kizzle, Terry? Yes. Mm. Terry, let me tell you this. What? The Haunted House, yeah. as verified by Vinny the Pooh, the pooiest poo of them all, uh -huh. who was there Saturday night. Why not? Why shouldn't he abuse some of his, finally, taking advantage of some of his star power here at the radio a station? Right. Why shouldn't he go down to the Haunted House pretty much every night telling some 18-year-old girl, <laughs> come on, baby, I'll get, to the, I'll get you to the front of the line. No problem. No problem. Come on. Just stay close to me. Here you go. Mm -hmm. Grab one of these pythons. Yes. <laughs> uh, my point was that uh, Vinny the Pooh has verified that it was packed yeah. all weekend long. Mm -hmm. As expected. Because it's not just about walking through the haunted house and headed home. Oh, no, no, no. It's a happening, baby. Yep. Am I right, Vinny the Pooh? That's right. Mm -hmm. It was packed out there. Yeah, she was there Saturday night. Did you walk through again or you were just hanging I, outside? I did. You walked through again? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't blame you. <laughs> Got to get the real feel, because when we walked through, it was 11.30 in the morning. Right. Oh. <laughs> People were tired half the actors we were tired a little bit, but... Uh, Monst monsters don't kill you in the morning. I was still... <laughs> exactly. I got to admit, I was still pretty scared at spots. I know, it was freaky. And uh, were you more scared this time around? Same amount of scaredness or less scared? I was, I was more scared more this More scared! This time. Right. Took you longer to get through? Yeah. Yeah, I imagine. Because I went with a group, about like five people. Yeah, so you got groups in front of you and groups mm -hmm. behind you. When we were walking oh. through, there were no groups. Mm-hmm. It was just me and my guy over here, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you walk through, and how long did you? How long would you say you spended at? Uh, how long did you spend at the uh, haunted house on Saturday night? How long? Yeah, from the time you got there to the time you rolled out of there. I mean, about a half hour. That's it. Yeah. 
You didn't hang out a little bit? No, I had to go to the club right after. Mm-hmm. But it took us like 15 minutes to get through. All right, and you're mm-hmm. going to walk through again at some point, or no, you're done with the haunted house? Probably like Wednesday. There it is! Why not? <laughs> I'll you probably go, go a couple times this week. You should go every night. All right. <laughs> uh, if it was open every night, I would. You should go every night it's open. Yeah. And you should you should let the peoples know I'm V the Pooh. <laughs> and if you give me a good smile, yeah, I'll put you right on my hip and walk through with you, baby. Oh, hey. Except my guy over there. <laughs> <laughs> Why not, Vay the Pooh, right? Why not? Were them good looking ladies down there or what? They were good looking ladies down there. Mm-hmm. Pa- a little young, I'm, I'm assuming, but. All right, well, I'm sure they come in all shapes and sizes, right? Yeah. It's the sizes I'm worried about, of course, Terry. <laughs> right. But, and the shapes, but. That's all right. All right. <laughs> okay, but it was pretty packed. Yeah. All right. The line wrapped around the parking lot a couple of times. Wrapped around the parking lot a couple of times, Terry. No. And that's the South Center Mall parking lot. I know. <laughs> that's not some it, little car toys parking lot, Terry. Yeah, it gets jammed down there. I've seen it. That's a major mall parking lot, and it was uh, it was pretty damn crowded from the reports that we're hearing. So you may want to get there early mm-hmm. and realize that uh, spending time online is part of the is Fun. part of the deal. Yeah. Exactly. Yes, hang it out with your fellow haunted house wannabe walkthrough person. <laughs> and, uh, yes, if you want passes. Do the passes get you to the front of the line or you still got to wait? No, you still have to still wait. still have to wait. Yeah, you just get and four I'm telling you, passes, if, if it got you to the front of the line, it's almost like ruining your haunted house experience. Right, right. The anticipation, yeah. the build-up, the camaraderie right. that people have online, Terry, right. is three-quarters of the fun. Yes. Because even when uh, we were down there on Friday, they made us wait. That's right. We had and to wait online even was... though there was no line. <laughs> right. And just sitting there waiting and me exchanging numbers with Kilbreath Terry, <laughs> it was, that's part of the deal. Well, we're guys. That's right. <laughs> you got you to be waiting online. you got to be checking yeah. out who else is right. there to go to the haunted right. house. You be... And that's what it's all about. It is a big social thing as far as, you know, that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. A lot of eye sex going on the line <laughs> there amongst uh, 14-year-olds, I'm sure. Uh, <laughs> Well, hopefully you're 18. Anyhow. I get scared easy. Can I hold your boob when I walk through? Mm, in your hand. Yeah, those kind of deals are being struck up online waiting to go in the haunted house. So if we gave away passes to the haunted house, as we're about to do, Terry, right. and it got you to the front of the line, we'd be doing you a disservice. Mm-hmm. So let's uh, do our disservice right now. But you, you but okay. You have to wait online. Yes. Okay, good. You did. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Get you in it, though. I mean, and yet everything we, everything we do is still a disservice. <laughs> You're on the air. Hello. Hello? Yes, hi. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm fine. What's up? Hey, man, did I win the ticket? Well, uh, I don't see any reason why to say no at this point. At this point? Oh, okay, yes. thank you. I mean, I haven't confirmed <laughs> it yet, so I don't think thank you is uh, quite... Uh, a mature thing to say yet. Uh, okay. So however, you're at the end. yeah, you're on the verge. You're on the right path here. Who is this? This is Tasha. Tasha. Yes. Where are you from, Tasha? I'm Renton. Oh. Is something wrong with Renton? Uh, a, a haunted house within itself, Terry. Nothing <laughs> <laughs> scared in the Walmart and Renton during Christmas. <laughs> oh, right. And how old are you, Tasha? Uh, almost twenty, actually, in uh, about a week. Really? How fun! Yeah. And what's going on in your world? How are things shaking out these days? Um, not too bad. Um, I'm gonna be a little late for class, but other than that, it's good. Mm-hmm. Where do you got class? Uh, Seattle U. Seattle U. Terry. Got a brainchild here, <laughs> don't we? Oh, wow. Or Seattle a U. Rich is person. yeah, <laughs> both. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, Seattle U is not just for intelligent types, Stephen. It's for those who are dumb with money? <laughs> yeah, pretty <laughs> much. No, Seattle, I don't have any of that. I'm all on loans right now. You're all on loans, okay. but yeah. you're but bright you- enough for Seattle U to say, hey, we're willing to go into debt for you to <laughs> come and uh, join us here for the fun. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Do they know you're from Renton? <laughs> yeah. yeah. They would have revoked quickly. <laughs> she, well, you have to have she, one of them. She made that part ineligi- ineligible. Uh, il- illegible. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's the word. Right. Uh, I'm obviously not Seattle U material. <laughs> <laughs> On her application, Terry. And uh, you're enjoying Seattle U, is that right? Yes, I love it there. How about, how are the guys, uh, oh, geez. How are the, the fellas, the boys, how are they at Seattle U? Are they doing it for you or no? No, sorry, they're not. I already have a boyfriend. And, uh, hey, Vinny, it's okay to say my guy. It's oh, okay. All right. She says it all the time. <laughs> well, yeah, but not too. Okay. How serious are you and your boyfriend? How's me and my boy? We're fine. How serious are you guys? Oh, very. very. Almost three years, Tina. Three Almost years. years. Well, congrats. Well, don't you think hey. maybe it's time that you explore what else is out there in the world? Wouldn't that be something a bright Seattle U girl would think about at this point? No, because they're not appealing to me. They're like 
They're immature. They're idiots. All I guys. Hit them. All guys are immature and idiots. No, but about ninety percent. Ninety percent of guys. <laughs> so yeah. well, focus on the ten percent then, because since you were <laughs> seven, hard. since you were sixteen, seventeen years old, you've been going out with the same guy. Yeah. A woman of your unbelievable intelligence should be willing to explore her world and not feel the danger that uh, may come about because of that uh, willingness to be out there. You honestly think so? I How think, long were you with your wife? Well, I, you I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't... I didn't... I didn't... I explore. <laughs> and boy, that's an open-ended <laughs> question there. Oh, man. Jeez. He's, <laughs> Magellan. He's Marco Polo. Okay. <laughs> come, 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 come. I am the Magellan of Explorers, baby. And I came back with a hell of a lot more than spices. I discovered oh, new lands that I can't even tell you about. Yeah. <laughs> now, does your, boy, on the map. <laughs> does your boyfriend go to Seattle, you? No, he doesn't. He doesn't. What does he do? Um, actually, he works for the government. He works for the government. How, yeah. How yeah. Old is I mean, he? that means he's in prison, Terry. Yeah. Uh, how, do you guys live together or no? Yes. You do? Yes. And uh, how do your parents feel about this? Oh, they obviously cut her off so she couldn't uh, right. pay to go to college. Right. That's yeah. why she's all on loans. How do your oh, parents? Actually, um, he actually flew back home to meet them, so they're great with it. And where's back home for you? Uh, Korea. Korea. Yes. Mm-hmm. Got a little Korean hottie on the line here, Terry. Yes, yes. Her parents are still in the native land. Uh-huh. And she's over here in the Northwest creating havoc. <laughs> now, what does a 20-year-old uh, man do for the government? She didn't say um, he was just... 20. Oh, that... How, how old is your boyfriend? Is he 22? No. How old is he? I'll let you guess. Over 27. <laughs> yeah. He's over 20. <laughs> How old wow. is he? Um, almost 28. Oh, jeez. Wow. Whoa. Hmm. He's old. So, in other words... Oh, you get, no, he's not old. Well, you, you've been going out with him since you were 16, 17 years old. Yes. And he was 25 at the time. This is yes. a tad illegal. Ouch. Well, maybe yeah, not. Yeah, but it was know. okay, though. Why was it Okay. Because we weren't actually making any other fish, so it was just like just talking at the time. But we're considering that time. See, does that make sense? Hmm. Huh? <laughs> they were just okay, talking never to each mind. Other. All right. I don't want to give you a headache. <laughs> How did he meet late. you? How did what? Terry you basically talk? is asking in a very uh, subtle but uh, non risque kind of way what catalog did he meet you in? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Terry, that is very rude. <laughs> I did not even Assuming go there. that this man found her in some catalog because she was 16 and in Korea. Wow. Uh, no, no. That no. was a lot. Okay, yeah. where did you guys meet? Through friends. Through yes. friends, through mutual yeah. friends. That's the best way to meet someone. Sure. Yeah. Now, if only I had some mutual friends, there, I could have done it that way. <laughs> right. Twenty-five girls don't normally hang out with sixteen-year-olds. Yeah, that's. Yeah, what that's... kind of mutual no, friends? But I normally don't hang out with my age, anyway. So you're so mature that people your age just disgust you. It sounds like. No, no, no. It's not that. It's just. Well, yeah, sometimes. Yeah, that pretty yeah, much sometimes. sounds the way it is. I mean, <laughs> you right. don't you don't find people that are your own age to be at your level. Yeah. And maybe they're not. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess I agree with that. Hmm. Okay. Maybe you're just too damn bright, too damn advanced, too damn something else that I would <laughs> like to finish this off with, but I can't think of anything else. <laughs> Right? Not really? No. Well, yeah. Don't tell me no. Don't make it seem like uh, you don't want to sound overly pompous. Now it's too late. That's the way it is. That's all right. That's okay, the way well, you feel. I'm That's the way you it. feel. Okay. Yeah, I'm fine with it. It's okay. So you're going out with a 27 year old that works for the government. Yes. 28, right? 28. Yeah. No, Jeez. almost. Almost 28 year old. Yeah. Now, do you see yourself with this guy for a very long period of time, or no? Yes. I don't know about this. I watch out for my listeners, Terry. I know you do, Demon. And this girl has been with this guy since she was basically 16. Right. And she's ready to spend a lifetime with him. Mm-hmm. And I always worry about women who get themselves in that situation. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's not that bad, you know. I really like it. I'm not saying it's that bad right now for you. I mean, you've been with him longer than already I would have had hoped for you. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm worried about your future. Right. A woman who's only in this day and age been with one guy basically her whole life. But I thought that would be good, though. Wouldn't no! It? Oh, it's okay. not good. You would think that. Well, I mean, I thought it would be good. I know. You just said that. Yeah. Do you always repeat yourself? Sometimes. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you going to go to the haunted house with this 28-year-old? 
Yeah, mm-hmm. I hope to. All right, Vinnie the Pooh and, Vinny the Pooh and his guys will be laughing at you uh, <laughs> nonstop while you're online. No. 28-year-old and a 20-year-old, Terry. Most 28-year-old. Holding hands yeah. online, waiting to get in the haunted house. <laughs> That's something you see every night no, at the haunted house. No, it's not. It's not. And it's usually a single mom or a single see, dad. Yeah, out well, there with you, the kids. Oh, jeez. What? I, I don't know what haunted house Terry's going to get. <laughs> but that's all right. Well, they bring kids okay. or whatever. Hey, but this is your life. This is the way you want it to go. And <coughs> that's what's working out for you. Then who am I to overstep okay. my bounds? Oh, wait a minute. Okay. I'm the female, Terry. Break up with this bastard. <laughs> <laughs> you call me back. When you start to put things together, all right? In the meantime, I'm going to give you tickets to the haunted house. Yeah, nice four-pack. Oh, four so you can take your 28-year-old government guy. Woo-hoo. Who's going to be flashing his government badge at every scary person inside the haunted house. FBI, <laughs> watch out. Mm-hmm. He worked maintenance at City Hall. Oh, jeez. That's it. Thanks, you, man. Hot fudge is not impressed. But hang on, okay? Government. Okay. Yeah, hang on. Yeah. Lottery. He sells lottery tickets at Southern Eleven. <laughs> Talk about government. It's official government business. Yeah. Oh, you don't think he works at the Pentagon? Oh, no. yeah. Right. Have a hunch. Mm. <laughs> what are all these smart girls doing, Terry? I, I'm why really do these? Surprised. Why do all these smart Actually. girls have to always live their lives like every move that they make is so damn smart? Mm. And you know what? Hmm. They're outsmarting themselves. Mm-hmm. I'm not smart enough to figure out what that means. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to the team, man. I'm talking to the ladies who can understand okay. this. You're outsmarting yourselves. And if you want more information on that, T-Man is always here at one eight six 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 three T-Man. Now, Terry, I sensed that that smart girl headed to Seattle. You right now? Yes. Understand what I? She understood what I was talking about. I'm sure she did. She didn't get all the details because she didn't wasn't ready to take them all in at this time. Mm-hmm. But she will call back, and she will sleep on this night after night over the next few, Terry. And then she'll be ready for more information. And I'll be there to give them to her, Terry. Yep. <laughs> and in the meantime, if her governmental uh, boyfriend wants to give me some free lottery tickets, I'm good for that, too. <laughs> <laughs> the T-Man. <laughs> the Terror. Some men in Seattle may soon have lonely laps. The Seattle City uh, Council geez. votes tomorrow <laughs> on whether to crack down on the adult entertainment industry. And now that vote is today, Terry, because yeah. the story was read yesterday. Get it? You following along? Got mm-hmm. it. It's a big day for the strip clubs of the Northwest. Mm-hmm. I said the strip clubs of the Northwest. Let's pretty much tell you that as fact. Mm-hmm. The future of the strip clubs of the Northwest wow. will uh, obviously be forever changed perhaps by today's vote. Uh, obviously, people are starting to believe that there's been enough momentum built whereby the strip clubs, for all intents and purposes, will have to go out of business. Ooh. All right? The strippers should have been out there picketing. Vote for, well, that vote for the strippers. Could have gotten some attention, yes. <laughs> so men in Seattle may soon have lonely laps. The Seattle City Council votes tomorrow on whether to crack down on the adult entertainment industry. Mm-hmm. The new rules would require bright lighting in clubs and no what? more lap dances. Right. Opponents say the rules will force the industry out of Seattle. Why are they picking on the strip clubs, Terry? All right, these well. business owners are power taxpayers. Isn't there something in the Constitution against running these uh, folks out of business? Well. Who are they hurting, Terry? It's a nice, dark, and little uh, building. <laughs> Who knows? knows what's going on in other buildings in corporate America, Terry. Tons of stuff that is obviously, in some people's eyes, vile. <laughs> True, but... We know what's going on in here, Terry. It's no, it's no big deal, especially when they're on my lap. <laughs> it's no big deal, Terry. <laughs> they bring it into the neighborhoods where Man, young children whatever. are. whatever. Are you kidding? Wow. Are you ready for the downtown deja vu to turn into a Quiznos? <laughs> <laughs> Just don't eat the seafood sandwich. <laughs> wow. I mean, that's what it's obviously going to have to happen because these these establishments, Terry, are not going to be able to survive with no lap dancing right. and the lights on, all right? Is that <laughs> what you want? You want to be into one of these strip clubs with the lights on? That's that's part of the deal here. It's not just a four-foot rule. <laughs> they're in, in this law that they're trying to pass, Terry, uh-huh. part of the uh, the writing of it says that these establishments have to have the lights much brighter. You know, embarrassing. Oh, yeah. Hi, Bob. Yeah, I'm here again, too. Nice to see you. Is that what what you need? 
Well, of course You need to he's see not. Bob sitting a few seats down with a hole in his sweatpants. <laughs> <laughs> you need to see that, Terry? There's no need no, for the no. hole anymore. Yeah, either, there's probably. no need for the hole. Well, he still has one. <laughs> he's not buying any new sweatpants anytime soon, that's for sure. Is this necessary? Is my point here, well, Terry? Well, some are going to argue. The is... lights on. That's like the worst part of it. <laughs> I feel sorry for the strippers that have to see Harris Francis Mole with the lights on. <laughs> oh, Coming right at you. Oh, I mean, I am I might still go mm -hmm. on occasion if they kept the lights down. And even though there's no four-foot rule, Terry, but the lights on is just a deal breaker. Well, couldn't you make it a positive and say, well, with the lights on so bright that the strippers have to, you know, actually, like, start, you know, looking, looking good? a little bit better, oh, working out? No, we don't want that. Oh, Who okay. cares? We want them looking exactly the way they're oh, looking okay. with the lights off. All right. Well, you know. Smell like smoke and perfume and mm -hmm. until they don't work out. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> and underarm sweat. It's perfect, Jake. <laughs> oh, I don't get it. It was a perfect situation. And why do they have to have this high and mighty attitude of, oh, we're going to clean up this town? Well, well whatever, man. I want to. All the strip club folk will just go underground <laughs> and it'll be even more seedy. Move to Tacoma. <laughs> wow. Well, does this affect Tacoma, Stephen? That's just the city of Seattle. Mm -hmm. Really? Well, oh, if you're ready for just an influx of strip clubs in Tacoma <laughs> and the surrounding neighborhoods of Seattle, well, then pass this law. Mm -hmm. One foot outside of the Seattle line. Ooh, <laughs> come on in. Welcome, welcome. Step right up. Step right up. The lights are down. The girls are hot. Yeah, I think they'd like be Tuck Willow or something, right? Mm -hmm. It'd be fine. I mean, there's 17-year mor moratorium on new strip clubs. I mean, it, they've pretty much handled it. Oh, geez. Yeah. Well, the uh, the belief is if this one gets passed in the city of Seattle, all the other cities will be right on behind oh, with, no the pres question. with the yeah. precedent set. Of course. So we'll see what the Seattle City Council gets done today. <laughs> oh, Maybe they should start with the monorail. Well, this is why they're doing this, is so they don't have to talk about that. Right. right. They, they can get the focus off the monorail. <laughs> yes. mm -hmm. The monorail won't be in the headlines of every newspaper and the top of every newscast. They can vote this situation down to make people forget about the monorail debacle. <laughs> This is like our generation's prohibition. Mm hmm. Oh, jeez. Well, I got a monorail right for you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> and it's coming into the station. Oh, I'm my anymore. goodness. Hey, Jerry, I'm just saying. I mean, it's just absolutely necessary after all this time. Are the strip after clubs all absolutely these necessary? Absolutely! Why? Because they provide a much needed bit of, uh, of uh, relaxation therapy. But according to a lot of people, I mean, and you included, you included, you included, you spent in. a lot of time, even Hotshot has admitted, on the internet. Yes, well, Correct? the internet can so... only do so much, Terry. And, 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 and don't get me wrong, I have uh, not gone to the strip clubs in full force right. for a number in of years. Force. When you were going full force, how many times? The full force, Terry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I got rid of those sweatpants. <laughs> so, what I'm saying is... Yes. What, what's, what's the big crusade here? Come on. Is it really that huge? Well, I think, like I said, I think the are, thing are is... Are there all kinds of illegal activities happening in and around strip clubs to the point where, oh, we have no choice but to shut them down? I think no, there... No, no one's getting hurt! Mm, Nobody! Think... Unless you pay for it. <laughs> I don't think it's the cleanest industry as far as things. Terry, but if they're going to shut down all the businesses of America that aren't the cleanest industries, yeah. uh, uh, corporate America as we know it is no longer is existing. <laughs> oh, right. that's Every politician true. should be fired. And, and right? slowly but surely, they are bringing down corporate America on certain things. Now, yes, you mentioned the Internet, and that does provide an outlet for uh, some needed expression, Terry. Right. But I'm getting a little sick of shoving my genitalia up against my computer screen. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little cold sometimes. It gets, yeah. Well, you do. Warm it up. <laughs> it's a little cold. Occasionally, I get a shock that I don't uh, I don't uh, expect. A mm -hmm. couple of volts come on in that I'm not prepared for. Honey, why are your ass hair standing up? Okay. <laughs> I don't have ass hair, and you know it. <laughs> Uh, honey. Lucky you. You, oh, man. you. you shaved that last week in the shower for me. Oh, wow. Uh, actually, Angela did shave my... A lot of my body hair last oh, week. Oh, really? In case you must know, Terry. Oh, since we're she doesn't wax you? She doesn't wax well, you? Well, not, not my back. I'm not a hairy guy, Terry. Well, I know that's why but I'm... she so shaved. Well. I do have uh, a nice smattering. I wouldn't smattering. say... Smattering? I wouldn't say an overabundance by right. any means, but I have a smattering of chest hair, and I just I was in this mood to get rid of a lot of body hair. Right. So I asked Angela to join me in the shower, baby. And uh, <laughs> still out shaving for me. Oh, well, that's good. Yes. Hmm.
balls and chest. Wow, nice. Oh. <laughs> I think it's time to stop. <laughs> okay, let's all take that in. <laughs> and then perhaps we'll open the phone lines. Now, Terry, it's a, it's a big day. Yeah, it is. It is. For the strip clubs, yeah. Yeah, for the strip clubs. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, I guess it's not really that big a day. one eight six 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 three T man is the number to call. Mm. I just don't think it's the hugest crusade. I don't. I'm not gonna wither and die without the strip clubs, Terry. <laughs> but <laughs> I just think it's it's bullying in some sense. Well, sure, it is a little bit. However. I mean, everybody wants to have a nice, you know, clean place to live. And where do you start? You do the drug dealers and the strip clubs, mm -hmm. right? Clean up the neighborhood. I don't put That's the, the I don't crusade. put the strip clubs in the same category as the drug dealers on the corner. Okay. All right. I agree. I don't. Okay. You want to group those together in the same breath? I think you're overstepping. But if you moved into Lake City in the last twenty years, you knew those places were there. Yes. As right. Steven's almost on our side, it sounds like. I know. I'm like going, he, wow. He, in a subtle fashion, does not want the strip clubs to go away. I hope Amy is picking up on this. <laughs> so is that where you go at night, Steven? Oh, jeez. <laughs> at night? They're open all day. What are you talking about? No, I just don't see the the uh, the big crusade of, oh. of all of this. Stupid wow. battle to fight. Stupid battle. Face the monorail head on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stop trying to cloud the issues of our day that are important. Would you please? The T-Man. A long... Yeah, it's only been that much action. <clears throat> if Hotshot would have told me there would have been uh, that much action at his little 10 and 11-year-old football game, Terry, I would have gone. You would have been there? Mm -hmm. Cheering it was him on. wild. Yes. The game had to be stopped because Hot Fudge Scott was uh, <laughs> making a comment to one of the opposing team's kids. <laughs> but he started it. <laughs> he started it. Well, I'm That's sure how you justify he did. it. I would have done the same thing the way he told it to me, Terry. Oh, gosh. The little 10 or 11-year-old was uh, flipping off his sideline. and Ooh, wow. wow. That's not good. Where was the team mom? Fudge stepped up and put him in his place. <laughs> and the game was stopped. <laughs> and uh, before you knew it, all the coaches were ready to go to war. Wow. Exciting times. Oh, I mean, it, it could have been like a second away from fist flying between the coaches, yes, the coaching staff. Is that right? Fight in the parking lot afterwards. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But it's, you know, it's Skyline. They're a bunch of wussies. We're not, you know, they, okay. they're, oh, they're a bunch boy. of big talkers, but they, they wouldn't have done anything. Well, you have to acknowledge that Skyline traditionally has a very solid football team from 10 and 11-year-olds all the way through high school. Mm -hmm. They're good, yeah. All right. There is a qual light. And just because... <laughs> Just because you guys were undefeated and all of a sudden got your ads handed to you yeah. can uh, certainly justify why uh, this whole situation happened. Because yeah. you guys weren't prepared to take the beating you were. True. Perhaps it was... Uh, I, I, I don't like to lose. Don't get me wrong. I would have reacted the same way you guys did. Losing's one thing, but running up the score and grabbing your wiener at the other coach, that's a different thing. <laughs> but but, your but you guys run up the score too, though, don't you? No. No, absolutely not. We fumble on purpose. Do you really? Yeah. You don't fumble on purpose. We fumble. You We've tell your it. kids to fumble? We've done it twice. Wow. Against teams like well, Stevens? Well, that's, that's a bad thing to teach kids. Well, it's better than, better than running well, up a yeah, score. Yeah, I agree it with is better I re agree with Hotshot. Let me grab my jock on that. <laughs> <laughs> it only looks like you run up the score because you guys are so good. It's one thing to, to like, fall on the ball a little bit, but to tell yeah. your kids to fumble is mm -hmm. a bad thing, a bad habit to learn. It's not a habit. All right, I do well. it once. All right. And you guys refuse extra points. I saw you do that. Man, we decline extra points. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> You should come to the games. There's lots of fireworks. <laughs> Sounds like it. Grabbing wieners and stuff. Man, you should have told me that was going to happen. <laughs> Great. <laughs> All right. Oh uh, one eight, speaking God. of grabbing wieners, one eight six 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 three t man is a big meeting going on at the city council today, Terry. I know. All about grabbing wieners. <laughs> They're going to take and, care of that. And nobody getting upset about it <laughs> up till now. They're going to end that. 663 t man is the number to call. You're on the air. Good morning. Hello. Hello? Yes. Hello? Yes, your answer. You, dude. Hello? Hello? Yes. Hello? What's up? Hi, this is Stan here. I, I got a question for Terry Free. Oh, oh nice. hey. Hi. Hello. So how hey, Stan, Terry, how you doing? Hi, Stan. How are you? Yes. I'm doing pretty good. Good. Hey, I got a question Before about Stan put you in the truck of his car. Uh, <laughs> uh, situation. For what now, huh? Uh, do you have a do you have a thing against strippers? That's my question to you. Uh, no, I'm just club. I'm just saying uh, no, I I don't. I mean because I don't know much about the industry. However, I I don't I have to mm -hmm. admit that I don't think that highly of that career choice. Oh, jeez. 
Wow. So you do have a thing oh. against strippers. I just think that... You think that they ought to be burned at the stake is no, what you're saying? No, no. I just think that women... <laughs> That's what it sounded like. But they won. Mm-hmm. No, I just think that, that those who choose to do that are, are not... They're copping out in some sense, too. Yeah, they're not... They're not, really they're not like, making an honest living in your mind? No, no, no. Like you? Not, no, no, no. They're just... I think that they should think better of themselves oh, as women. I and think that they I know well enough about them for the both of us, too. Okay. <laughs> That's all. I mean, and I guess maybe it's, too, because I don't really understand the whole yeah, don't what's the you thrill try about going to the strip joint and having somebody you can't even touch get you but all. You can't touch. Terry, do you acknowledge Terry. that strip clubs are legitimate businesses? Uh, I, I guess they are, sure, yeah. Okay, so if, you start, if we start putting, and I'm not going to say we, but if the government or the state start putting strippers out of business, I mean, what keeps them from going doing illegal activities such as something to make money? But do you, but do you, sir, acknowledge that also in strip clubs, other things go on that are not legal? Like why? No, what are you no, talking no, about? No, no. Come on, you can say that about any company if you want to right, start talking about exactly, exactly. Any, exactly. Any a couple legit, of bad apples right. that I've never come across but in I, my life. I yeah. steal pens and paper. No, I'm just saying but he's he's trying to he's trying to give a comparison. So am Isn't I. Isn't it amazing that Terry's saying that about an hour away from raiding the prize closet of free stuff? I oh, look at look at professional gambling on TV. So do you think in that type of environment is nothing illegal going on? You know I something ne- like that. I'm sure there is. Okay, okay. Terry's just I mean, not very fond of these ladies, and she doesn't really get the big no. hubbub about the industry, and you can right. understand why. She's never really... Have you ever been at a strip no, club? No, I life? never have. Oh. I don't, and, and I guess I just... I, like I said, I think that... What's what's fascinating is... Okay, finish your thought. I was just saying that I think that women should hold themselves up to a higher standard, what's I guess. What's fascinating is, Terry, uh, that more women these days than ever before have become much more comfortable with going to strip clubs. I've, I've right. actually talked about in the, uh, that in the past, not seeing it as a very positive step. I, I am uh, very much uncomfortable with all the, the women that just show up to hang out at strip clubs. Right. I think it's unnecessary. Got nothing to prove. Stay out. <laughs> Unless you're going to work. Oh, wow. <laughs> they just want to sit around. Oh, I want to show the world that I'm okay with my man having this well, and I bought my very man. hot woman, much harder than me, grind on him. <laughs> Part why of the why, why are you trying to prove, honey, that you're such a great girlfriend? I'm not impressed. Stay home and be jealous like you should. Oh, jeez. one eight six 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 three t man you're on the air. Hello. Hello? Yes. Okay. Um, I had a question about the girl who won the ticket. You had um, an opinion about something being wrong with the age between her and her boyfriend. I didn't have a problem about the age necessarily at all. I had a problem with the fact that she had been going out with this guy since she was 16. He, yes, at a, par- a, a part of it was that uh, she was eight years younger than him, and she's never known any other guy in her life but him, and is now expecting to spend the rest of her life with him. So all that, that, all that in total, yes, she did say that. She said, I, I asked her point blank, do you see yourself spending a long, serious period of time and or the rest of your life with him? And she basic, basically made it very clear that that was the, the plan. Okay, because the way it made, you made it sound kind of was like there was something wrong with all right, just because you're going out with an old guy, don't apart. feel like you took a personal attack here, right? Just because you chose to go out with some geezer, don't <laughs> feel like you're all being thrown into question here. You can go out with whoever is willing to take you out, all right? Mm-hmm. I'm sure your choices are very slim. So uh, enjoy your time out with all these fine older men, and don't feel like I'm attacking you personally. Lord. Just because you're into gray pubes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Doesn't mean everyone's looking at you funny. <laughs> well, they are. Yeah, they can't see them yet. <laughs> they can't see well, how old are you when those turn? But don't get so self-conscious about it. <laughs> Suck it up and realize you have no other options. Wow. But your gray pube options. <laughs> oh, it's got to be a shame. Oh. I, know, I know what Grey's Anatomy's about. <laughs> You're on the air. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hey, what's happening, man? Not much. Are we on speakerphone, sir? Say again. Do you have us on speakerphone? <laughs> I would say yes. Well, can you take oh. us off speakerphone? Yeah, I'm here. Ah, nice oh. to talk to you, sir. I feel like we're much closer now. Hey, what's going on there? Yes. Whoa. Nice to talk to you. 
We're, having, we're having a deep voice off here, Jerry. <laughs> yeah, we are. I need Pasty to step in for me. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, sir? How are you? Hey, I, I'm a big never, connoisseur of the Stuart Club. Never going to talk this. Don't even try. Yes. And, and um, to come up here and, first of all, no drinking. Limits. What well, the no drinking policy already. may be a good thing, especially if you get to know some of the people in this area, sir. <laughs> yes. In Vegas... Uh, no. They have a much greater ability to hire maybe a bigger and better security staff at their strip clubs because drinking and these women on occasion makes for a, a rather combustible combination. And to go back on Terry, I, I like the other gentleman how he Please. jumped on and Terry this ragu, and I know the whole thing about this is these are business women. They're there to make money. Then to provide to work only a few hours. To yeah, I like to forget about that, sir. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, you're ruining my tall boy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Martha Stewart's a businesswoman. <laughs> I don't ever believe that when they're with me personally, but okay. If you if you uh, have been told that and been convinced of that, that's terrific. <laughs> well, they hustling you. They getting your bread. Well, well yes, and it works every time. <laughs> <laughs> so the whole what, thing is, is this, this whole place is just is whack on adult entertainment anyway. Mm -hmm. No kind of nightlife clubs in it. Two o'clock. The strip clubs are bogus old duels and coke all night long. So hmm. to do yeah, what next, they're doing now, is just next they're gonna shut down the Crystal Palace, Terry. I can't handle it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Crystal Palace. So uh, you're from where, sir? You're from Georgia, but I live up in um, Tacoma. And you're so far not happy with the move you've made based on the the night situation here. Well, but in the South, like he said, it like in in Louisiana and Georgia and stuff, strip clubs they serve alcohol, you right. know, yes. there and they're open late, right? Yes, and women go there to pick up God because that's where the money's. Yeah, in most major cities, the strip clubs they do serve alcohol, Terry. Right. And that's why I think he was. I've the gotten used to it out here being the way it is, and uh, <laughs> so I don't have as big a problem. But hey, if I had just moved here and I was used to it being that way, I could see it being a situation myself. But uh, I, as I said, I've become accustomed to it. But now the whole shutdown of the the strip club thing. Basically, what they're voting on today is whether the strip clubs are going to go out of business in Seattle or not. I mean, mm -hmm. that's there's no shades of gray right. about this situation. Forget the whole four-foot rule, techn uh, technical bits of the wording of this law. They right. are basically voting, will the strip clubs go out of business or not? Right. End of story. Will they turn into Quiznos or not? <laughs> <laughs> Well, come from down south, fight all that dance compared to twenty is a you know that's a big woe. Mm. So you also got a problem with the uh, well, the, the rates songs, up here. They're not playing a whole three minute song. Uh, anyway. okay. <laughs> you know what? We need times them. I'll put a suggestion box in every strip club if they still exist next week. How about that, sir? For you, it's got a whole list of problems, Terry. Yeah, that's right. Hey, a four minute song down south, a four minute song. <laughs> they don't cut it to two forty five. I don't know if I want the $5 strip uh, lap dance, Terry. No? The you like the 20 I, I believe in this world you get what you pay for. Right. Right. And the $5 lap dance to <laughs> me. Yeah. A little iffy. When you have to bring an aerosol can with you to the strip club, not for yourself. <laughs> right. But for the five dollar lap dance. For the five dollar lap dance lady. <laughs> yeah. I'd rather pay the twenty if you know what I mean. I gotcha. All right. Put one of those toilet seat liners on your lap. <laughs> wow. Make sure you don't catch anything. <laughs> yeah, that that's not what you're walking oh, through the door God. for, Terry. I would hope. Oh, wow. That's not hot, huh? Oh, when you gotta goodness. triple up on the toilet seat oh. thing. <laughs> I do that on the toilet seats, but uh, you're on the air. Hello. Hello. Hello? Yes. T man. Yes, sir. Hey, uh, I'm from Louisiana also, man. I'm used to the old style with the alcohol and everything. Mm -hmm. I live in Tacoma. I'm in the military. Uh, the thing is, with, um, I don't understand why they even vote on this because, you know, it's all the corporate people, the uh, politics and business owners that are mainly in there in Seattle. So what are they going to do? Close down their only place to hang out? Mm. That's where they all go to cheat on their wives <laughs> and um, so hide out. So it's kind of pointless. Well, are they going to basically, Stephen, hopefully you can answer this question. Is there going to be a decision by the end of today? Uh, I mean, well, there's the, been enough talk about this over the past number of months that I'm hoping today is decision day so we can at least find out what the situation is once and for all here. Well, they're promoting the big vote at uh, 2 o'clock today. The so big vote I at think, 2 o'clock. Yeah, oh. I would think that's so, all right. a decision unless it's 50-50. <laughs> so noon at the strip clubs? Yeah, right. <laughs> the last, it's last to rod day oh, at no, Deja Vu? Yeah. <laughs> Armageddon's here, my friend. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't become law instantaneously, though. I see. So at 201, they're not going to all of a sudden... I'm sorry, we got to go four feet back. Yeah. <laughs> Turn the lights on. I was just starting to get up. Mm. If, I didn't have an app, if I didn't have an app today, I'd probably go vote. <laughs> <laughs> You're on the air. 
But we don't get to vote. Yeah, I don't think it's an open vote. Oh, here. really? No. <sighs> you, you only get to vote on stadiums City Council. and, and yeah. monorails that never, pa- never right. pan out. Right. Only thing I vote for anyway. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, go ahead. And you'll get to vote again. That'd monorail. be kind of cool if there was like a... A citywide vote with... Why wouldn't they have it? That would be interesting. I live in the city. Definitely interesting. I don't think we'd stand a chance. Uh, You're on the air, yes. Better off with the crooked politicians like (laughs) this guy said. That are (laughs) the ones spending the most money there. (laughs) Hello, anyone there? (laughs) Hello? Hello? I I know someone's there. Yeah, (laughs) I heard someone. We gotta start getting first names. I hate uh, doing the... The yeah. people never know we're talking to them. I know. But if I could go like, Ron! You're Ron! I hate that. <laughs> it, sounds, it sounds like more of a, like a real radio show, and I never wanted one. And us? Real? No. Ron from Seattle, hello! <laughs> Is anyone there? I'd rather talk for 20 minutes. Hello? <laughs> I like the awkwardness of this. Ron's on his car phone. <laughs> oh, I don't need it. I really don't need it. Don't make me. Thanks, Ron. Ron. <sighs> Man. You're on the air. Hello? Yeah. Go ahead, Ron. (laughs) (laughs) Thanks for taking the time. (laughs) Yes, go ahead. I say leave the strippers alone. They're they're just working. Uh, Most of those girls are extremely talented. I worked there for two weeks when... I worked at the VU on 99 for two weeks after high school. Terry, do you want to fight that angle of it, that these strippers are talented dancers? They are. I'm they sure they are. With abilities that right. you must be impressed by, I, or is that uh, is that going a bit too far in your mind? Oh, you no. know, I, I don't, I really can't even speak on that because I've never been there, so uh, I don't hmm. know. I don't know. I'm sure well, they are. this lady I mean, says they, the that... The more money they make, right, the better dancers they are? This lady says that she had a two-week internship at the VU, Terry. Internship, yeah. And, uh, uh, well, she was help filing and stuff, and uh, she noticed that the strippers, the dancers there, were highly skilled individuals right. with a true focus on their craft. <laughs> right? Right. I I was impressed, and I, there was absolutely no way I could perform any of the stuff that they were doing. Yeah. I was serving drinks there. Well, not every girl out there could hide, like, two dozen ping pong balls in her VJ. <laughs> so, uh, I don't expect you to do that during your internship. I never saw any of that. I just oh saw, well, like, you got to go to the main pole. stage. So no, their pole work and <laughs> stuff like that. I, their I pole was, work was impressive to you. I it was am, very impressive. Mm-hmm. So you only stayed there two weeks. Why? I mean, if you were so impressed, why did you not want to learn a little bit more about their? I mean, I'm sure they somebody could have taken you under their wing oh, and taught you a few things are. about the pole and all that. Well, right? I never, I was never comfortable enough with my body at, at that oh. age to to want to be able to get naked and get on stage. Well, how are you feeling about your body now, baby? But I was told oh. that it was easy money just serving pretty much soda and water mm-hmm. at a at a strip joint, and I tried it for two weeks, but um, it wasn't working out for involved, you. I didn't get involved in it, and I ended up quitting because they they pushed the girls that served drinks to get involved, but. I never did. Mm-hmm. I was, I well, was maybe if they were pushing you, if they were putting pressure on you to graduate from waitress to uh, dancer, they must have been impressed with your body. Didn't you take that as somewhat of a compliment? Yeah, but at 18, I just, I wasn't feeling it, so. Mm-hmm. At, tw- at 27, now I, I'm definitely more comfortable with my skin, but I, I don't think I'd... There you go. So there's a promise to us, Terry. If the uh, if the bill that's being talked about gets shot down today, she's ready to become a stripper. That's reason alone, I think, for the mm-hmm. council to say, "Hey, let's back <laughs> off of this and let the strip joint stay open." No. Uh, I'm, going, I'm going for any angle I can reach. I, I know you are. <laughs> All right, so no, you're 27. I'm... You're ready now, huh? Um, well, what no. if nobody wants you now? You missed your chance. You're too old. No, I work I work part time weekends in a club anyways, but what I club? don't Club Medusa, which mm-hmm. is now closed. They closed last night, but For good? Um, no, Cowgirls Bottom, so now they're changing oh, to something else. Mm-hmm. Cowboys. What were you like? Were you like one of them go go girl girls? Gunny girls? <laughs> what were you no, doing I, there? I go go there. Yeah, that's yeah, right. you just all right. Sounds like she's in the right profession. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I appreciate your phone call. You're welcome. She go go there, Terry. She go go. Till it was bought out. Mm. The new owners don't want go go. Well, they want Coyote Ugly. Oh jeez. Know what that means? Movie. I, I I know what that means there. Okay. Huh? Cowgirls bottom. Mm-hmm. I know, but-
you're on the air. Huh? Yeah. Wrong! <laughs> you're wrong! <laughs> <laughs> I should exactly wear that all day. You're on the oh, air. Hey. Hello? You're, you're on the air, yes. Me? Yes. Lovely. Um, I was calling because... Uh, Try it out, Paige. Get, get people's first names <laughs> oh, for the next little while. Come on, don't. All right, let's see how that works. Oh, God. And put first? it up there. And yeah, put it up there, yeah. <laughs> What's your first name? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what? <laughs> I might call you later. Now I, know what, yeah, now I know what to call you when I call you later tonight. <laughs> yes, yeah, oh, them what they're wearing. Jeans and a t-shirt. Oh, you're yeah. on. <laughs> Are you going to do that? <laughs> no, that sounds... Bob, what do you got on? I wouldn't, I wouldn't have anyone ever ask somebody that. You're on the air. Yes, go ahead. Hello? Yes, hi. Okay. Well, I was calling because last week I was listening to a program about how, like, men just go there because they don't want to cheat on their wives. It's just kind of easier to get it, you know, little thing out. A lot of men are able to justify sure. that, that technically and, and, and not just technically, but oh, it's, it makes sense that that's not cheating. Well, it does make sense. And it's, it's not, well, it is a Somewhat no, form of cheating, but it's better than them going and slipping it in somebody else. Oh, you know what I mean? So, oh, wow. what are you offering here? <laughs> <laughs> She's had somebody else. <laughs> what somebody else do you have in mind? There? <laughs> yes. Continue with the thought. I like where you're going here. <laughs> you know. So, and plus, there was other guys on there that went on the anonymously, but they were talking about how so they don't like go rape women and like oh, weird. Geez stuff like that. So way to- the suggestion was that the strip joint shut down, that rape will go sky high <laughs> oh as far as the well, uh, statistics are concerned. Not, but, you that's know, it's wants. like a way to get out their frustration, <laughs> I guess. Well, Terry, if that's what you want, <laughs> then vote yes for the shutdown of the strip club. Oh, we can't go in the bathroom and just, you know, look at a Playboy How's or a that? Video? Well, psychiatrists, I guess, had just suggested it then, and that's a way to... Terry, the days of going into a bathroom and looking at a Playboy ended with a... Uh, with our okay, grandfathers. On, on the internet, then. I mean, you sit there in your living room or whatever, right? It's a nice outlet, Terry, okay. but uh, not enough. We're, we're all going to say no to rape, but if you don't want to, that's up to you. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, how about that for a threat, though? Hey, if you guys shut down these strip clubs, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to have to go out and rape women. Right. Oh, Jeez. my God. That's, that was pretty serious. <laughs> that is pretty serious. It's pretty scary. <laughs> hmm. Michael! <laughs> no, he didn't. Hey, what's going on? Michael! Man? How, how you Michael! Doing? Hey, yes, Michael. Go Where's ahead. That? Hey, I just want, want... Uh, first of all, I just want to say, hey, Terry, I miss seeing you. Uh, oh, geez, uh, you oh, 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 I'm just going to let that one slide this morning. Yeah. Yeah, go on, Michael. <laughs> Where did uh, you see that? I, I think people are just making a big deal out of it. You know, it's... You know, they're not in there committing major crimes. You know, you have girls out there with great bodies just trying to make some money. Yes. And I think what it has to do, a lot of jealous people, you know, don't like it. Uh, so, you know. It's, it's just over. It's just overbearing, want to clean up this town kind of attitude, Terry. Well, it's some crusade, it, some crucible that right. just doesn't seem like it's that huge a deal. Why don't we focus more on the drug dealers? Right. There doesn't seem to be enough progress being made in those areas for, uh, for the focus to be so strongly on something that, to me, is not nearly as major of a situation, okay? Well, let me ask you this. Is it, now, if they were not to, you know, if they voted this down and strip clubs were still in existence and so on and so forth, would it be better that, would it give the opportunity for these strip clubs to, like, you know, build better and cleaner type strip clubs? Like, like say, for they example, have I'm sure They have a lot down. of these strip clubs, Terry. They're making so much money that they have remodeled a lot of the places around town, from what I understand. Right. Well, I mean, like... With bigger and better VIP rooms, well, yeah. <laughs> But I know, like, you know, of course, in the major cities like New York and Vegas and stuff, you have these huge, really classy type things. And I guess... In for- New York, two of the most popular spots to hit on a weekend or weekday night and overall, Terry, is uh, the east side and the west side scores. They're, right. they're one of the most popular spots in all of Manhattan. And I... Uh, well, I guess my thing was maybe one of those companies would come in and, you know... Well, you're not happy with the ownership here well, in the Northwest? I, I don't yeah. know. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 I, I, the, she the, just thinks there's... I mean, I understand what she's trying to say. That's like they're rat-infested places. But oh, right, because... That's, well, what you, that's what you probably believe, but you haven't been to any, Well, Terry. but when you have one of the owners in, in, in going but, to court in jail for, you know... Well, that was just a... Creasing the pockets of the, of the politicians, you kind of have happens this... Happens in every major industry. You're on the air. Hello. So it's, the, it's the decor that pisses her off. Mm-hmm. So it's a few more Monets on the wall. Right. <laughs> but that's Tracy, what, but hello. That's what that case is what led yes, to Yes, Tracy. I have a question exactly. for me and for Terry. Okay, for, for the women who are out there, 
I have a question. Can they actually turn the stripper, uh, stripper into a housewife? Uh, your question is whether any of us would marry a stripper in question. Is I that have a friend. Yes. Who she was. I'm the very straight girl, and, you know, she would call me, hey, can you give me a ride? I'll pay you 50 bucks to take me downtown. And you know what I'm saying? What I'm saying, Terry, I hear your side of it because, yes, there are things that happen outside of the strip club, not just in the strip club, but outside of it. So I'm wondering, do... I've been outside of many strip clubs. I don't, think, I don't see anything well, happening no, out there. Well, no, it's... Uh, I car. mean, yeah, I mean, but the, I think, too, her question was... You put you your, guys, your raincoat over your head and go to your car. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, I think her other question, too, is, and like she said... Wallet. I mean, you guys are talking about, hey, don't let the strip clubs die. You know, strippers need to make all this money, da 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 da. But you know, outside of the strip club, when they're when they're at home and stuff, are they the type of girl that you would bring home to mom? Terry, and say, I believe I mean, what the guys used to say before before she got married. But now that she's married, now I see that she really can't let it go. Oh, okay. So you know what I'm saying? She's out there. She's doing her thing. She shows her ring, but then when she hits the clubs, it's like she doesn't go to the clubs anymore just to hang out. The and stripper side of her comes yeah, out to play. It comes out. So I'm you can like, never. Oh, I need to go home. You can take the stripper out of the club, but you can't take the <laughs> club out uh, of the, the stripper. stripper. <laughs> yeah, you know what you're saying? Well, yeah. Well, that's a. If, if what goes down today actually does go down, and all the strip clubs basically have to go out of business, at least that's a little bit of news to. Hang our hat on, Terry. Okay. The stripper will never die. <laughs> Thank goodness, right? <laughs> they can't kill the stripper. They can kill the club. <laughs> well, whatever, it'll all be bad. <laughs> right, probably. Mm -hmm. As I said, all the strippers are going to fly south for the winter, Terry. Mm, yeah. There won't be any underground strip clubs. <sighs> well, there already are, Stephen. But <laughs> a, lo a large quantity are going to move to places like Phoenix and... Las Vegas and L.A. All flying down south with the Pelicans. So don't think they'll be able. Fly, Pelican. <laughs> Pelican. That's my favorite line of Scarface, Terry. <laughs> People don't even realize that's in Scarface. It's a little I didn't. unnecessary part of the script. And yet it's my favorite line in all of the movie Scarface. Oh, fly, Pelican. <laughs> Pelican. Don't know it. You have no idea. No. Yeah. <laughs> It's there. Trust okay. me. We'll watch it later. The T-Man. American Idol winner Fantasia Barino makes a huge confession. The 21-year-old R&B singer says she cannot read. She reveals the truth in her, her memoirs called Life is Not a Fairy Tale. Mm -hmm. Fantasia says the hardest part is not being able to read to her four-year-old daughter. She now has a Don't worry, no one's reading to their four-year-old daughters anyway. Uh, Terry. Yes. Do you believe that that is the case? Or is Fantasia Barino's album sales maybe a little lower than she would like them to be? Or her book sales that she has? now coming out. She wants to give it a little pop there. Here we leave Fantasia Marino can't read. Um, I think that I... I, I mean, how much does it take to read? A lot, of course. No. Well, I mean, you have to know the basics and then... Is that right? Granted, she, she admits <laughs> that she... Down for no, she granted, she admits that she had her child very young and, and probably didn't get... How important is reading anyway? Come on. If you didn't learn when you were like supposed to learn it's probably tough i would think if right you had to, if you had to read to be a famous singer there'd be absolutely no country western music so <laughs> as far as i'm concerned not that big an admission yeah, pretty sure toby keith not reading mm -hmm. that's why renee zellweger pretty much left up and ditched little kenny chesney <laughs> little kenny chesney said you can't read dude because she was making sure to mark all her food items that he wasn't allowed to touch <laughs> and yet he couldn't figure out which ones were which because <laughs> he can't read! Oh, my goodness. I don't know. I just think if she's at the point now where if she can't read, she's got enough resources and enough time on her hands that she can pretty much, like any four or five-year-old, Terry, just start working on it, and before you know it, you're reading. Well, I'm sure she probably will start doing that. Well, why didn't she start it if that's the truth? I don't know. I'm always very skeptical, skeptical of, of people in... Uh, in show business, Terry. Mm -hmm. But, uh, hey, if she can't read, she can't read. Whatever. You shouldn't right. be able to put out a book unless you can read it. <laughs> right. Thanks, Steve. That's a pretty good rule, I think. Mm. <laughs> I can't read, but I got a book coming out. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know what it says. <laughs> <laughs> but buy it. should be interesting. <laughs> uh, what else is going on in the world, Terry? This is a pretty interesting story out of Reseda, California. <laughs> 
couple of dudes tried to carjack two gentlemen who were sitting in a parked car. Okay. Unfortunately, they chose... I want to see someone carjack someone who's driving 80 miles an well, hour. Okay. Oh. That'd be quite the feat. Unfortunately, they were two FBI agents sitting in that their car. Oh! <laughs> you chose poorly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And uh, the agent shot and wounded one of the carjackers, uh, shot and killed another, and then... So the agents weren't playing around. No. It wasn't just, hey, uh, go to the next car. <laughs> right, wrong place here, dude. Or even, it was, uh, it was pull the guns out and do what you gotta do yes. to take down the, the felons. Yeah, one wounded, one killed, so two four, others arrested. Four carjackers on one car. carjacking two dudes in a yes. car? Was it two mm-hmm. men, Terry? Two men sitting in a mm. car. Apparently. In the golden rule of carjacking, you carjack women, Terry. <laughs> Maybe it is now. He said on the air, never wanted to be carjacked. All right. In the golden rule that you carjack women, Terry. You guys got to fend for yourselves. In the golden rule, Terry, that you carjack women. Come on. Yeah, oh, I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> According to the FBI, the two agents were on a stakeout. And, uh, Wasn't there any signs to pick up on, Terry? I'm trying to get in the mind of a good carjacker. Wasn't there like some signs they should have picked up on that told them that this car may not be the right car to carjack? Like maybe the box of donuts on the dashboard there? <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't there a couple of signs they could have picked up on that would have told them they may be FBI agents or well, somebody we don't want to mess with here? By the time you come up on the car and see the car, the donuts on the on the You've dashboard, already made your you're move. already you're there. You're made your move. You're already committed to you're the carjacking. You're committed. So mm. go ahead At what it. point are you committed? I, I'm not agreeing with that, Terry. I think you can back out once you, but until you've pulled the door open, you could pretty much be like, okay, I'm going to carjack, I'm going to carjack, I'm going to carjack, oh, something's wrong, I'm going to walk on by. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think <laughs> that. Until you've opened that door and Whoa. said something really with emphasis, like, hey, <laughs> get out, this is mine now. I don't know what the carjacking lingo is, but... Uh, but something obviously very close to that. Excuse me, I'd love to drive your car now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Excuse me. And you have no choice in the matter, so please exit the vehicle. <laughs> no, I think they were already committed, four of the guys, you know, hey, let's go for I'm it. I'm telling you, you're not committed to your carjacking until you've swung open the car door. Huh? And there should have been some signs that any crafty carjacker would have picked up on, Terry. <laughs> that <laughs> these two dudes are the wrong cars to carjack. The government plates. <laughs> the government plates. Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe that should have given it away. So the <laughs> FBI agents killed one, you said? Yeah, killed one, wounded another one, and then yeah. arrested the other two. So nobody got away. No. <laughs> they killed them off, they wouldn't have had jelly and powdered sugar all over their fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it, Finger Pablo, slip off the hey, trigger. That's not powdered sugar, that's, uh, that's gun powder. Right. <laughs> right. Jeez. Huh. Where were they carjacking? Was it at a mall? It was at, uh, no, it was in Reseda, California. <laughs> you love a mall, don't you? I love a good mall. <laughs> Where did it happen? Where in Reseda, Reseda, California? California Last I checked, it's a decent sized city. Uh, it doesn't give the address of the house or oh, the place were, that they were sitting in front of. Doesn't give it, any idea where they were no, staking out. No. All right. They were sitting in a parked car. Because I would imagine give the description as to where, what parking lot. I would imagine two FBI agents sitting in a car, are e- either on the job or staking. Yes, yeah, they're staking they were. Out they were something. on a stakeout. They were. That's they were. On a, I told you oh, you said that. Yeah. Yes, I did. I said according to the FBI, they were on stakeout. Because there aren't two agents just sitting around shooting the braze, are there? <laughs> <laughs> It's almost 5 o'clock. <laughs> Two hours to go. What do you want to talk about? <laughs> oh, we can go to the strip club pretty soon. <laughs> oh, it is. Not in the Northwest. <laughs> right. Good thing we're not down there. Mm. Down there. Oh, well, over there. So a story about carjackers oh. that chose yeah, poorly sorry. and paid the ultimate price. <laughs> right. Okay, well, that, hey, should be a deterrent to all carjackers out there. Right. And then, even though I, I poke fun, I'm sure there are a lot of capable women in the FBI, Terry. Mm-hmm. So you never know what car door you're about to swing open there. Yeah, that's very true. Probably no, it's not. Covered. There are not many women in the FBI. Come on. <laughs> plenty. Maybe there are. There's plenty. There's enough. Mm-hmm. Doesn't say whether these were. Well, yes, it does actually. Two. No, it just says yeah. Two guys. Oh, the no. only one I know is Clarice Starling. <laughs> right. Fly away, Clarice. Fly, 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 fly. She's the only one. Fly, fly, Miss Congeniality. Fly, fly, oh, yes. Fly, fly Pelican. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Uh, Stephanie, hello. Oh, come on. Are we going to do the rest of the way that way? Just the next hour or so. Oh, stop. Or maybe it's the new trend, Terry. Hey, for too long, I've been sitting around wasting valuable showtime going, You're out there. You're out there. You're out there. Right? Wow, an impersonation of yourself. <laughs> yeah, but we like that. 
part of your charm. Well, I've learned that no one could do it. No one could do a decent enough impersonation of me. That mm -hmm. I got to do my own impersonation of myself. <laughs> you should listen from three to seven. Well, <laughs> <laughs> that's the best one out there. <laughs> Stephanie, hello. hello. Guess what's going on tonight at three to seven? <laughs> yes. What's up, baby? Uh, I just called. It, I'm calling about the stripper thing. All right. It's a I big day a as far as the stripper, stripper world, as you know. Everyone wants to talk about it, Terry. Yeah. Go ahead. A lot of these girls are doing this as their night job to supplement their income from the day. Really? A lot of them are single parents. That have you mean they all don't just really get off on me and my friends and our <laughs> our, our, our sweat pant best headed out to the strip clubs and, and drooling everywhere? Oh, it's for money. <laughs> well, it's a career know. for some of these ladies. Wow. Fascinating, yes. Yeah, some of them are working their way through college, you know what I mean? Yes. And they have kids that have no good babies, daddies that don't want to pay to take care of their kids, so they use it to supplement their income. Okay, yeah. well, um, well, you know... Quite well, the revelation. I'm glad you've enlightened us. Anything else? And the other thing is, oh. if someone is married and their, their wife's a stripper, then she needs to get a new husband because she really shouldn't be stripping if that's your wife. She well, I'll tell you this. I, I don't know if that's necessarily the case. There are a lot of uh, dancers, Terry. Mm -hmm. I hate to have to call stripper. Uh... A lot of relaxation therapists out there that <laughs> yeah. uh, that aren't your hardest core stripper that are just kind of like on the fringe of the business. They're really actually believing that they're just doing it temporarily. Right. And uh, to give you an example, I have a friend. This is just a story to <clears throat> maybe suggest that some of these women may not be the worst marriage material in the world. Mm -hmm. I have a very close friend, very conservative guy. Actually, he's not. He's a friend, okay? Mm -hmm. I can give you any more information than that. Because you're probably very embarrassed of this story. <laughs> very conservative guy. Very religious guy. Oh, Stephen Kilbreth. Oh, yes. And very Kilbreth-ish, who uh, is currently dating a stripper. Wow. Wow. Very what? serious. Very serious about her, Terry. Mm. And the reality is, unless you were told, you would never be able to identify this as a woman who spent uh, a decent amount of time as a stripper, Terry. Mm-hmm. So the stigma of the stripper must go. Huh? Because they come in all shapes and sizes, unfortunately, and all different types of backgrounds and personality types, Terry. Mm -hmm. So I could, uh, if you have this stigma, Terry, of what the stripper is like and you are filled with contempt for them, I could play a game with you later this week called uh, Guess the Stripper, Line them Up, Terry. And I guarantee you, you'd lose. Mm, okay. Checking her leg for a pole groove. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so instead of playing that, instead of playing that game at ten oh one like we do every morning, we'll actually play it with you here in the studio, Terry. <laughs> and you can try to identify, and your whole stigma that you may or mm -hmm. obviously do have about the stripper would have to go by the wayside. I'm game if you're game. Oh, you know I'm game, baby. <laughs> People can come out of it, you know. Yeah, I'm and happy to just What are you talking like? It's cancer. Uh, I beat stripping. <laughs> well, I have little but, bracelets now. But this me. woman that your friend is dating is no longer a stripper, right? No, she's not. Right. I mean, so you can. So I mean, she is now no longer in the industry, and is and has come out. You know, Terry's point is that it's not the most healthy thing to be involved in when you're there. And uh, the most healthy thing to be involved in is what now? I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. well, well, until you know what the hell, most healthy thing is, maybe you shouldn't talk about what the most healthy thing isn't. Well, it's interesting what this... Because a person who speaks with that kind of knowledge should know the answer to the question I just asked. So the adult entertainment industry is healthy? I'm not saying it's the most healthiest industry in well, the world. That's not what, I'm not that's saying what I just said. I'm, no, you said it's not the most healthy industry in the world, and I'm not saying that either. But you're probably right. All right, what's that out there? <laughs> but it's interesting what the lady said. I understand that a lot of the strippers who are doing that, right. they supplement their income right. and they're single parents. I was a single mom. Oh, boy. I, but oh, I didn't strip. Oh, here we go. Maybe you didn't have the goods, Terry. You were yeah, a flat-ass little... you're probably little right. You're probably right. Runt. And I wow. struggled and did all of that. But, mm. but that, I mean, but her justification for them being strippers is, uh, was right. the fact that they're single hey, moms. Because you struggle, you should go to the pole. Yeah, I... That, I mean, wow. there's there's plenty who who I'm are out well, there who pull. don't. Who amongst us is so high and mighty that they can look down on what someone else does for a living? All right, I'm not just talking to the people in this studio, or uh, I'm talking about everyone out there. Mm -hmm. Step forward if you're that one. I'd like to talk to you. 
I don't expect your call anytime soon, however. The T-Man. A long time ago. There. Idiot. Mm-hmm. What are you saying, Terry? You're in the middle of saying the word idiot? What? Yeah. I wasn't listening to your conversation. I was just asking Hot Fudge if he was looking forward to practice tonight. We oh, have geez. a meeting with the parents and apologize. Uh, I don't explain to the parents why we swear during games. Yes. Uh-huh. <laughs> Ridicule 10 year olds. They couldn't hear you swearing. They were too busy swearing. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let's see what uh, text pages have come in this morning. Uh, at 849 and 45 seconds, somebody writes, I want to play in the stripper game. How about this Friday? Oh. Hmm. They're planning out our show. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Yes. Did I mention some kind of stripper game, Terry? Yeah, you said if you really wanted me to play. Oh, uh, that's right. That's right. Yeah, I don't think I'll play that. Okay. Anyhow, uh, what else we got here? It's 846 and 26 hours. Uh, somebody tried to jack me once when I was sitting in my car in Kent. I now have an advertisement on my window suggesting that I'm armed. Assault rifle on board. <laughs> right. <laughs> Car jack at your own risk. Oh, no. What do you think about the, uh, the little taped sign on the passenger window? <laughs> think twice. I'm packing. Right. Come on. Now we know what he's packing. <laughs> Whoa. Mm-hmm. In the bathhouse. Yes. Put a gun rack in there. Uh, 841 <laughs> in 19 seconds. Oh, Somebody God. writes, Would Terry let Darian go to the haunted house? This is a woman out there who's uh, debating as to whether to let her kids go, obviously, Terry, mm-hmm. and is looking to see if the Gestapo, that is the parent, that is Terry Free, would allow her son at his age of, what, 13? 14. 14 to go to the haunted house. Yes, house. he's Even gone. The... He's gone even oh. uh, at, the, at a younger wow. age, like 10, there 11. You go with his team. There you have it. So your kids can have a free-for-all at the haunted house Terry has given you the okay. And I know how you feel, and I always check with Terry to find out what to do with my parenting needs. Yeah, uh, parents were present. Mm-hmm. It's less scary than her barking orders about his haircut at home. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is nothing. See my mom. Yeah, haha, <laughs> that was my favorite tar- my favorite part of Scarface 2, and he was watching the Flamingos on TV in the hot tub. I, I tink. Somebody writes. <laughs> I think. Yes, I think they meant the right think, but they were uh, having a subliminal moment with the hot tub thought, Terry, and they, yeah. they started tinking. <laughs> <laughs> somebody writes, Vinny the Pooh takes it in the pooper from his guy. Okay. Oh, wow. Uh, somebody at 841 and 19 seconds writes, where's Kendall? Mm. A fascinating question, by the way, because mm. Kendall was all too eager to appear on this show as much as possible. Let me give you a little update on that, by the way. Okay. That is obviously no longer the case. You want to know right. why, Terry? I know you already know why, but play along. You want to know why, Terry? Why is that, T-Man? I'm glad you asked. A candle informed Pacey Dave in a late-night call Ooh. 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 from Arizona. Through, oh, well. through tears, oh. mind you. And this is what he told me last week. Was it through tears there, Pastela? Definite tears. Through yeah. tears. Oh, tears. Tears. Pasty's tears. Yeah, pasty's oh, you mean this wasn't Ken? <laughs> <laughs> were they your tears or her tears or both? They were her tears. There were no tears from you? No. No tears. Okay. She uh, called it up at uh, really an unnecessary hour of the day as far as a phone call that you would need to be receiving, right? I mean, you're a guy who goes to bed relatively early. You get this call around what time, would you say? It was after 11.30. After 11.30. She calls crying, Terry, Mm. through tears. Through tears. Telling him that she may not be able to come on the show anymore. And why? Why? Because her popular Terry uh, is tired of having people come up to him in the QFC around the neighborhood, Terry, and saying, hey, I heard your daughter on the radio again. Wow. And basically told her if she doesn't uh, stop coming on the air with us, she's gonna, he's going to disown her. Wow. Oh. Whoa. She doesn't really do come anything on. bad, though. No, she doesn't. Well, he thinks that we're vile people, apparently. Oh. Damn. Well, well okay, so that's true. Yeah. Right. Right. Then. Doesn't reflect his daughter. That's right. Well, hey. She, we all know she's a good girl. Mm-hmm. You should be proud of it. That's the scope. Wow. That's the scope on that. And you know what? I'm a little annoyed at Kendall that she's chosen her dad over us. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, how much have we done for that girl? We've done so much. Have we done anything for that girl? Absolutely not. Oh, just, well, <laughs> well we, we must have done something positive as far as uh, she was, like, I don't know. Great work experience. Okay. <laughs> There you go. The fact that she's just abandoned us over the past few days or so 
Just let us go, huh? Just let us go like that. Wow. Hmm. Well, then she should quit mentioning us in her MySpace page. Give me her number. You go to you go to her MySpace page. I've been there, yes. Mm-hmm. And she mentions Cube ninety three. Oh jeez. Well, that's not necessarily us per se. Well, it's the station. Okay. <laughs> the station should disown her. Well, they yeah, should, yeah they shouldn't let her sticker or anything like that or yeah. banner anymore. No more bannering we'll call her. her. We'll call her. Um, why don't you talk to us anymore? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Why don't you call us? And then have her dad on the other line. <laughs> You've disowned us. Man. That's unfortunate. Mm. Now I know how Pappy feels with the gay phone operator. Wow. <laughs> Unbelievable. That what am is. I, the scum of the earth, Terry? Is that what I am? Tell well, me if I am. Well, Please inform me. Mm, You're thinking about it too long. Okay. <laughs> I wouldn't say the ultimate scum no. of the earth. I didn't there's, say there's ultimate. I just asked the scum of the earth. I might be doing a disservice to the scum that's actually on the earth. <sighs> Let's just break it all down, shall we? You know what? You guys aren't helping. <laughs> Hey, we're sitting here with you. Right. We're scum with you. I'm working. Hello? Hi. Hey, why won't you talk to us anymore? Why don't you call us anymore? We're not good enough for you anymore? What's the problem? You're not, allowed to, you're not allowed to talk to us anymore? We're not allowed to talk to you. No, I heard you're not allowed to talk to us anymore. That's what I heard. What's the story? Why aren't you talking to us? Why aren't you calling us? What's wrong? Am I the scum of the earth? What's wrong? Scum, scum, scum. No, my dad just doesn't. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's daddy. Geez. Well, you're not supposed to talk to us at all. You're talking to us right now. How come you're not hanging up the phone? You're going to get in trouble. You. I just... You're going to get in Please. trouble. He's, she's going to get a you call. You can't talk to scum and get away with it. <laughs> and that's what you're doing. Well, I'm allowed to talk. I want to talk to you guys. I miss you. If you wanted to talk to us, you would have called us. Mm-hmm. You apparently are just trying to let us down easy. Well, last and week I had a rough week with midterms. I was going to call today. Whatever. We uh, <laughs> So you've chosen midterms over us? And, uh, yeah, damn you. She doesn't have her priorities correct here. No, she doesn't. Midterms, Papala. <laughs> she is uh, obviously not understanding how uh, important we are in her life. Right. I mean, the hack football not, not player how, takes over us. Not how important she is in our lives. Right. How important we are in her life. You know what? Don't do us any favors there. You don't have to talk to us. It's all right. Well, I would love no! to talk to you guys. Have a nice life. What? The pastry told us the whole story. And how you oh. called him at an un, ungodly hour of the night. What? And uh, and you were through tears telling him that you would not allow to be able to talk to us anymore. Well, I just said that my dad was having issues with this. Yeah, we understand. That's, That's right. I understand there are a lot of dads out there with a lot of issues. <laughs> Plenty of pathos. I just, issues. Believe me, not the first time I've ever heard this story. <laughs> right. This is a common tale. <laughs> All right, I, this is I built my career on this, but I didn't know that you would absolutely. I thought we were worthy of you, uh, just. Going against your own flesh and blood's wishes, I thought we were uh, <laughs> important enough for you to make that decision. Mm-hmm. So I guess you'll just have to call us when you run your own life. Oh. And uh, until then, we won't be speaking to you anytime soon. I guess, huh? So no I'll summer intern next year for you. What'd you say? Well, I'll call you guys tomorrow then. Hey, I don't want to get you in any trouble. You won't get me in trouble. We won't be expecting your call. Nah. And even if you call, we may not be able to take it. I don't know if I can allow this situation to continue. Okay. You better call us. I will. I promise. How's everything going? Ah, you know what? You don't care. <laughs> You're not allowed to find out. If I tell you, it could be a violation. Right. The subject matter of how we're doing is... Yes, Woo! I could have done some very scum-like things over the weekend. Pretty oh. seedy. Yes. I'm a very seedy guy. Hmm. It's good to be reminded as to who you are, Terry, in this world. I know. Hmm? <laughs> she said she was going to call, but yet the show's been on for three hours and 11 minutes. And <laughs> no call. No call. Oh, you were going to call today? Is that what you were trying to convince us of? That's what she said. You know what? I've been on the receiving end of this too many times from women, Terry, that I understand all the crap that is dished out out there. Yeah. It's all right, Kendall. I got tough skin, baby. I got skin like an oak tree. If you're letting us down easy, then uh, don't feel like you can't be even more direct. I'll understand. I'll be able to move on. I'm not letting you down easy. I need you guys in my life. 
Hmm. I want to be on the show. She's starting to cry. But but Daddy won't let her. So what's it going to be? I think uh, when when in doubt, you got to go with Daddy's wishes. That's my philosophy. Okay. That's because you talk about your tough skin. Mm-hmm. If my daddy told me I'm not allowed on my own program, <laughs> I wouldn't be here right now. <laughs> want me to call Jerry and find out if I'm allowed to be here? <laughs> say, Who is this again? My dad's still paying for everything. You make your own money. Oh, he's paying for your schooling? Of course. Oh, oh how much could that be? I'll take care of that. Not really. <laughs> Watch yourself there. Out of state tuition? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. oh, boy. So is that the deal? That, well, uh, you, well, Daddy, <coughs> until she graduates. You may lose your scholarship money. Wait, yeah. You think putting posters up is going to pay for a trip to Italy? I thought she made bank bannering. Bannering. <laughs> bannering. Ah, oh, remember the good old days where she could talk about her bannering, Terry, and yeah. no one had to worry? I know. I miss bannering. Mm-hmm. <sighs> We miss you, Beanering, too. <laughs> but no more Beanering. But we, but we understand how it works. We understand sometimes there are things that are out of our control, even though we're 21-year-old grown women. That's right. <laughs> Just when you think you're an adult That's living so your own life? You're what? You're 20? Yeah. yeah. I'm not 21 yet. Maybe then I could make my own decision. Right. Sure. Mm, nah. <laughs> <sighs> All right. So what are the odds... That she lives up to the promise and calls us tomorrow. I'll set it at, like, if you think she's going to call tomorrow, you get 30 to 1. Wow. No, I think she'll call tomorrow. 30 to 1, I'm taking well, that. No, take that she's going to get a call probably, probably. later today yeah. from, I'm not saying, I don't know who it's going to be from, but the word is going to be even put stronger. I think it was put pretty strong already. I think she's, she's risking a lot just talking to us right now. Right. And I appreciate that. Even though I'm very much uh, advising you to hang up the phone right now and cut your losses. But it's but it's kind of... Hang up on us, Kendall. Do what's right. I'm never going to hang up on you guys. But it's kind of interesting, as, as, as vile as we are supposed to be, everybody in her entire family listens. No, that, that's not necessarily the case. A lot of times it's even worse than that, Terry. You have people coming up to you. There are people out there, believe it or not, that that's don't listen, Terry. Right. And then they have people coming Neighbors up to them. And they, family members call. They hear it third person. When you hear anything that happens on the show, third person is even ten times yeah, as bad. Sure, way, that's way bad. true. You're right. Way worse. You're right. You're right. That's what's been going on. Well, tell your dad to become a big-time fan, then it'll get a lot better. We'll make him a dysfunctional family member. How about that as part of the deal? <laughs> That'd be great. We'll put him right between. Dad would appreciate we'll put him right though. between John, John. Oh yeah. And uh, uh, let's see here. Mm, can't remember her name. The one I just called recently. That uh, Marie. Uh, no, no. Oh, uh, oh Audrey. Lady? Yeah, Audrey. Oh. The uh, this, what do we call her? Oh, no. Chatline chat girl. girl. Audrey the chatline slut. And what was what was her name? Girl. Audrey. Audrey. All right. Never mind. Anyway. In other words, there's room for him in the, uh, on the list if we have to make a negotiation here. And he'll get all the perks of being a dysfunctional family member. Mm-hmm, yes. Are, royalty checks. What are the perks? They're really hard, Eddie. You're going to be on the list. It's pretty much a downward spiral to your <laughs> ultimate demise. All right. Okay, well, she's got nothing left to say. I'm taking 30 to 1, though. I'll take it, too. She's, she's 4 and 1 against the spread at home mm -hmm. on turf. Right. I'm taking Kendall plus the points. We'll see her tomorrow. Oh, wow. Okay, so if she she may call tomorrow, but she may be completely like uh, removed from being any kind of participant as far as any conversation we uh, may have. Well, she may really be completely count. distant, is what I'm saying. She may call just to make it uh, on Official. the record that she technically oh, yeah. calls, just call. so we win the bet. She'll right. dial the phone, but she won't be here. Mm -hmm. Right? It'll just be a token call. I see. Hi, how was your day? How you guys doing? Oh, kind of gotta go. We'll need that candle. No pillow. We'll need any. Never do that to you. We'll need any phony favors. What am I talking about? I take them all the time. <laughs> just make a decision. I'll call tomorrow. I promise. There apparently is a lot of drama going on, not just in your relationship at this point, but all around the life of you. There's not that much drama right now. Well. It could be a lot worse. It could be a lot more seedy and scummy, which it's not for you, which is why, yes, as Terry points out, she doesn't understand what the big deal is here. Yeah, I don't I don't know what the big deal is either because I don't have anything that's seedy and scummy to talk about. So mm -hmm. I don't know what the problem is, but my You're family has an issue. So. Apparently it's too much drama anyway. <laughs> Will she call back tomorrow? 
or will her character be written off? Ooh, jet ski accident. <laughs> Part of Kendall, played by John John. <laughs> Not every day you have a jet ski accident happen in sunny Arizona. That's right. Oh, jet ski, yeah, I guess you can. Why was I thinking in the snow? Anyway. Huh? Right. Oh, a snowmobile. No, no. Yeah, right. Not a snowmobile. Actually. You're right. Well, but that would be better for the show, I think. Yeah, in Arizona. <laughs> All right, well... Whatever, I'm just saying, if you got to do what you got to do, that's fine. No big deal. I didn't make a big deal out of it until it was just some texter started writing in. Uh-oh. I had forgotten all about it a minute after Pacey told me, to be honest. Was I here making a big deal over it, Terry? No. Pacey told us last week. I said, no. all right, that's fine. That mm -hmm. was it. Mm -hmm. I haven't thought about it since. But now I'm kind of bothered about it now that I'm talking about it. But I'll also understand, not really, if you uh, can't call anymore. It's what? But just understand that your uh, your time here, you can't have it both ways. You can't uh, think that you are uh, not allowed to, to call or whatever and not participate and then you can come back in the summer. That's not going to happen. Oh, I wouldn't expect that to happen. Okay. So no bannering But I'm not going to be able to participate, I don't think, when I'm in Italy. Well, no, I expect to call every day from Italy. Yeah. Now I was looking forward to that. There's no reason why you can't call every day from Italy. We're paying the, the cost of the call. All right? Okay. Okay, that works. All right, whatever. <laughs> there she goes. Goodbye. What's the update? Mm. Wow. The kibosh. Yep. Squash. Mm. Oh. Kids. Who aren't kids? <laughs> I mean, if she was 16, Terry. Mm. <sighs> oh, whatever. Living at home and paying your own tuition. Huh? You gotta pay your own tuition these days, man. Get out yeah. from under the pops of strings. Yeah. Quit living at home. Yes. <laughs> or take a free ride. Oh, okay. <laughs> the TN. Power. Power. Eric Powers. To the people. Q93. I'm glad I can get that off my chest. Yeah, we're, that, we're really fast in. Yeah, right? I know you are, because you always, you always. <laughs> well, get he's me the one that brings it up. Yeah, I'm, I'm the blowtorch. I, I ignite he it. He knows it. I know. He knows how to push my buttons on certain <laughs> he subjects. Does. And he always prefaces. Oh, I pushed that right there. Let me get that one here. He always prefaces. I really shouldn't be t saying this, but right, I'm stupid. how about this one right over here? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that's my favorite one. Oh, 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 oh. All right. Well, you might as well want to keep that around because I think it's your time. Oh, it is. The hot, hot fudge, Scott, to uh -oh. uh, determine which text pager you might think deserves a return a phone call. Now, can I hit the woohoo button instead? You can hit whatever button you want to use to identify that you would like the proceedings to stop. Oh, wait, did I change that? You don't stop the proceedings anymore. You just decide at the end of the day. The end, right. Yeah. Okay, that end. makes it a lot more interesting and fair for you guys. Okay, anyhow, let's see what the uh, text pages have rolled in here. What's so funny, Stephen? Well, I mean, it makes it really fair for us. That's great. Okay. <laughs> yes, that's what it's all about. Uh, <laughs> it's nine, nice of you to do that. 919 and 14 seconds. I'll replace Kendall. Give me a call. Sign Jackie. But I don't think it's the Jackie that works here as well. Not I hope Jackie. not. Yes, that'd be pretty lame. Anyhow, uh, <laughs> nine eighteen and six seconds. I'd love to be able to read that about Kill Breath and his dog, but I can't. Uh, oh, wow. I'd have to dump ex the whole entire text page, Terry. You may want to find crafty little ways around wording your text pages in a formation that uh, can't be read due to FCC restrictions. Well, I'm sure if Stephen wants to see it, he can just yeah, pull look it, it up. up. Stephen <laughs> can look it up. You know he already has. He looks from wall anyway. I have it, yes. And has text page that person back already. Uh, Something I like hearing really... for the first time from you. Mm-hmm. A 9, 18, and 6 seconds. Very interesting text page here, and I'm uh, curious enough to hear the answer to this text page. Terry, do you let Darian have a MySpace? Mm. That would be a new. A new! So a yes on the earlier text page about whether you'd let him go to the haunted oh, house. Sure, sure, but sure. as far as having a MySpace area, you are against that? Are you sh would yes. you know if he had one? Uh, what yes, if he has one and you're yes. not? 
No. You, would, you believe or mm-hmm. you know for I know. sure? Unless it's at school and they can't do that kind of stuff at school. Um, but like I told you, at, at home, there's still parental controls on the old computer. I don't know if there are parental controls enough that you can stop the proceedings if you wanted to build a little MySpace. Well, I get a tank. little notice, a little mail that is sent to me that tells me all his activity. All of his activity. Yes. Every little movie every makes little, on the internet. Mm-hmm, every address that he goes to visit. Everything. Everything that's been blocked. And if he came to you and asked, you would say, no, you cannot. You are right. not prepared. You are not ready. You are not allowed I'm, to have a no. MySpace. Right. You can have an, uh, an R space for me and you together to <laughs> A page and put all the pictures of us hugging. No, that's all right. (laughs) But as far as a MySpace, you better wait until you're older. I don't know what age yet. I'll just know it when I feel it. But I'm not feeling it yet. No MySpace where little girls can start emailing you. Yada, a yada, a yada. Is that pretty much the way you're feeling? You and email you all the information they want. Well, that's what's happening. Yes, I've made that uh, very clear to you that these 14 year old girls are starting to email me, knowing that I'm their only hope to get to your son. Mm -hmm. So I'm setting up little rendezvous for them. (laughs) (laughs) You think Darius is going to football practice later today, don't you? Uh, He was cut a long time ago. (laughs) (laughs) He quit the team a long time ago, Terry. Sure. So you do not allow him to have a MySpace. No. That's good parenting. Whatever. That's overzealous Gestapo tactics that do you no good in the long run. People like Marie with their boobies will, uh, you know, send him their picture. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. He doesn't need that. <sighs> nine, nine, seventeen. <laughs> you already have it. Nine, seventeen, and 49 seconds. Can you post a picture? Okay, we get a lot of requests of that, and uh, uh, we don't have any pictures of her on hand that I know of. Or at least none that we're putting on the internet. Oh, Anyhow. Gosh. At least not for the public. Yeah. Uh, let's see <laughs> oh, here. E- okay, 9, 17, and 23 seconds. My dad don't give a crap. Can I replace Kendall? <laughs> Signed, Alicia. Oh, yeah. Apparently a lot of people were ready to step in. I don't even know what her what her place is. <laughs> Can I replace her? Whoa, what was you eat? Well, huh. You want to have a hack football player boyfriend. You want to be a caller? Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Nine fifteen and forty four seconds. I'll be Kendall's daddy. She can call me and I'll give her <laughs> approval for everything. Sure. Nine ten and thirty one seconds. What is Kendall's MySpace URL address? Hmm. Hmm. Nine oh seven and fifty eight seconds. I spent six hundred dollars at the strip club on Saturday night. Love Justin. Jeez, six hundred bucks. Nine oh eight. I'm sorry, 906 and oh, 18 wow, yeah. seconds. Yeah, make it official. T, I used to be a dancer, and you'd never know it. Ask Scott. He knows me. Oh, wow. yeah. Is it, that Carl? It was oh, geez. It was what I needed to do at the time to support me and my child. Sign Liz. Who hit that one? He did. Oh, I meant to hit the you button. Oh, you button. Do you know Liz? You know any I'm Liz? pretty sure I know. Woo-hoo. Liz. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hot. Oh, yeah. Way hot. Oh, yeah. Big time hot. Big time Blow hot. Blow off yes. the charts hot. Yes. Top of the team man scale All hot. of that. Oh, I love it. Where are you hiding these women, dude? Did you know she uh, was a stripper? I did not know. And now you do. You didn't know she was a stripper? I did not. I had no idea. She's making it very clear this morning. She was, but not anymore. She was at the time she said. Wow. so delirious in hearing the whole thing. You can't remember what she said? No, I don't remember. T, I used to be a dancer. Got it. And you'd never know it. Ask Scott. Now, she doesn't have that stripper look to her. He knows me. <laughs> Inside and out. Oh. It was what I needed to do at the time to support me and my child. Wow. Sign Liz. And she spells Liz with three eyes. Yeah, it's kind of a... Little, little inside yeah, job for you guys? Yeah, a little stupid thing, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's kind of a high school thing. Yeah. You went to high school with her? I've known her for a while. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I didn't go to high school with her, but I've known her for a while. Just You're boy. familiar with her. <laughs> Hopefully the boy doesn't look like you. At nine oh six and ten seconds, T Man, don't rock the boat any longer, please. I'm begging you. I will benefit from these out of work strippers. I live close to Highway ninety nine. Oh wow! Sign the Green River Killer. Yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> Texting from prison. No, everything about that text is true except the Green River <laughs> Killer part. 
903 in five seconds. Hey, what about male strip clubs? Do they go by the wayside if this vote goes down later today? There aren't any, though, that I know of. There are no males. Are... Terry certainly looks through the yellow pages every time they come well, out. Well, no, I mean, you never, if there were, you would think that they would be affected. Absolutely. Wouldn't that just stand a reason? It would certainly make sense, yes. If there was going to be a four-foot rule for female strippers, there damn well better be a four-foot rule. Right. Mm, but some I mean, of those, but every some time of those they strippers, they got a little five foot thingy going yeah. around there, Terry. <laughs> but every time they play any snippets for the news, it's all in a you know the women on the on the pole. Uh, Nine oh one and thirty four seconds. Say hi to Hot Fudge Packer. Signed, <laughs> Scott, signed uh, Scott to Dow. Oh no no. Say hi to Hot Fudge Packer. Scott signed to Dow. Hmm. I should move to Green Bay. That's really. <laughs> What they're trying to say. Right. <laughs> Whatever. All right, there you go. There are the text pages of the 9 o'clock hour. Any of those stand out yeah, to you? Just you needing a call back the, there? The you want to talk to... One. Want to call it to Dow? Let's call it to Dow. Oh, dear. Wait, let me hit, hit the woohoo button. Hang on. Woohoo! Mm. <laughs> it still works. <laughs> Needs new batteries. Hit it again. Woohoo! A little bit of a delay. <laughs> Sorry. God but damn. no one would know that. We're on radio. All right. All right, which, which uh, text page needs a call back? Do you need a refresher? You want me to read them all again? Let's call the, the Tadao person. Tadao? The hot fudge packer thing. <laughs> thing? No, oh, come on. You don't really want to call them. What about, uh, let's see here, e- Stephen's dog person? Oh, there's, no. Uh, what else needs to be called back here? Any of those other standout? E- let's call Liz. You ever call? He, he buzzed her. Buzzed that one. Yeah, you buzzed that one. Yes, he did. Let's call her. And obviously, you know, she wouldn't mind speaking about it because she... She had you fooled all these years, dude. Wow. Mm-hmm. What are you getting ready to do, Stephen? Good little Issaquah girl gone bad. Ah! <laughs> She's not technically Issaquah. Oh, really? Calling Liz no. with three eyes. But you brought Issaquah to her. Didn't you? Oh, that's right. She had a little Issaquah in her. Ta-da! Oh, man. Woohoo! <laughs> Hello? Hey, Liz! <laughs> Hello. Yeah, it's T Man here. What's going on, baby? Uh, nothing. We got Driving your, home. We got your text. Oh, that's my line. Uh, we got your text page, and you're on the air. Is that cool? That's cool. We had to call you back because <laughs> Hopscotch Scott was amazed slash confused when he f- learned the information that you had a run during the course of your life of being an exotic a dancer. Oh, I thought he knew. I didn't know. Oh, I thought Matt might have told you. He knows. Ooh. Yeah, Matt knows everything, right? <laughs> Who knows Matt? I thought Matt you knew me when I was grinding on, grinding on you. Oh, <laughs> Matt, Matt may have told me, but my, my short term is officially gone. Mm-hmm. So uh, the reports, the briefing I got from Hot Fudge Scott is that you are a way hot woman. Is that still the case, or is that pretty oh. much going by the wayside? No, as, I hope not. <laughs> as you move on with age. How old is she now, Hot Fudge? 29, maybe? No, dude. Oh. 30? Well, enjoy the final weeks <laughs> of being hot. It's coming on to an end. Mm-hmm. Are you still pretty damn hot? Um, I think so. When was the last time you saw her, Hot Fudge? <sighs> Month or so? Two months, maybe? Oh, you stayed oh. Yeah. Oh, she, wasn't at, she wasn't at your wedding, was she? No. No, she she calls me for an occasional favor. Oh! <laughs> ta <Ta-da! laughs> What kind of favors do you need fulfilled in your life there, uh... Liz? Um, I don't know. Can I say? Yeah. <laughs> can say um, anything on this show. What am I worried about? I needed some prescription another, medication. Yeah. That, <laughs> I don't share that. Crap. That another father is going to stop his daughter from listening? Big deal. No, 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 no. Not yeah. like that. I just didn't know if... What? Because, what, you, what is the problem? Um, boobies and a, and a new tummy. Oh, you're helping her out with gift certificates? It's the only time she ever calls me. Mm-hmm. It's the only time women ever call me either. <laughs> Just to be exploited and used. And I love it! <laughs> she can make a hot body for her man. Don't you know oh, if you man. want don't you know if you want to get the real inroads to cosmetic surgery, you need to call me. Well, I didn't have your phone number, so I'll bring you out of re- <laughs> out of retirement. <laughs> right. Reunion just, tour, right just, on my lap, baby. <laughs> just a little quick dance would be nice. So have you gotten your cosmetic surgery yet? Uh, November third. And what doctor have you chosen? Dr. Mangabat. Ah! Yeah! All right, write that in my That's calendar. It's November 3rd. I'm going to be in the gallery for the surgery. Okay, well, uh, yes. 
That's the hotshot sister birthday. It's all coming together. Mm. <laughs> what are you getting done on November third? Um, new boobs and a tummy tuck. Wow, new all boobs the and a tummy tuck. Whoa, man. all in one day. That's what you got to do when you're 29, Terry. I guess so. Got to keep those all good days day. rolling. Wow. Smart move for a hot woman to want to stay as hot as possible. That's right. <laughs> Should have called me. I would have got you at least half off. What did hot, what did hot shot get you? Um, That's two. peanuts. <laughs> peanuts. I actually I gave him my, my credit card number. Right, whatever. I'm paying for the whole thing. <laughs> oh, wow, man, I don't blame you if she's that hot. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, I'm sure your wife enjoys oh, paying that off. Oh. All right, Liz. All right. You got to keep us posted. I will. I will. Yeah. Uh, I'll come. I'll come down when I'm done and show you guys. Oh! Mm. Once all the bruising is all right, write it down. Done. November fourth. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> yeah. All right. All righty. All right. Stay in touch. Bye. There Scott. she is. Oh my! Oh. Oh. Hey, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, it's got him overdue for another favor. <laughs> <laughs> My husband wants a penis enlargement. Do you have any gift certificates lying around? She's got a husband? I think so. I don't know. She's got someone. She'll say, She's By the way, I need haunted house tickets, too. Right. Right. That's her next call. Find out she's got a freaking husband. One of those freaking lousy, stupid husbands. Wow. They just husbands suck, don't jokes. they? Huh? She has to trick someone into paying for her kids, man. Wow. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Wow. I don't know if it's true. How many? Not sure. Three yeah. Hey, you married? Yes, I am. How long? Uh, two years. It's not really working out, though, right? That's too bad. All right, thanks. Bye. <laughs> Why is he paying for the boobs? Why do you need Scott? Yeah. Well, some women need a little extra help in their life that their husbands can't provide to. Shay. <laughs> so why not call you? Oh, hey, my number's unlisted, Terry. You can't get to me. You hear that? I heard that. Yes, gay. Oh, hey. You know, there is one male strip club in Seattle. It's over in Ballard. Oh. There is one male strip club. It's over in Ballard. But I don't know if they'd be affected by that rule or not. Are you little by well, little, okay. like, in the process of swallowing your tongue? What's <laughs> happening here? No. <laughs> Blow your nose, oh, dude. Blow my your gosh. freaking gay schnoz. No, I just, I've been sick. I've had the flu. I actually feel better today than I have for the last week. Yeah, it sounds like it. Well, I'm trying. Mm hmm. <laughs> Why don't you answer the door again? Oh, <laughs> Holy crap. What <laughs> unbelievable, what unbelievable time. Oh, I didn't know they delivered this early. Well, I'm not sure. It's, no, I no it's, I'm on a website. His, name, a his name may be Domino. <laughs> it's the tube steak. You're pizza. telling us that was your internet happening there? It's my mess yeah, it's a website. I'm right. on. Why do you have it's it in the, website why do you have it the sound of a doorbell? Because when you, get a message, it you, when, it, when you get a message, it says <laughs> the ding-dong thing. Ding-dong thing. Oh, Man. I've never. <laughs> must be a gay thing, huh? Mm -hmm. um, it's a bear www.com thing. All right, who's writing you now, and what are they saying? Stephen was right, bear entering. <laughs> who's um, writing it now, and what are they saying? It'll be a little late today, sign Stephen. <laughs> it's somebody from Argentina. <laughs> what? Somebody from Argentina, Argentina that I talked to. Yes. Who's flying in to see you today? <laughs> no. And he's not going to call you the whole time he's here. <laughs> no. We're going to send you some money and buy you a new Mercedes. Yes. Who's, I wish. Who's no. calling you today? What? I mean, who's who's? what are they writing? Uh, he asked me how I was, and I told him I was sick, and he was just saying he was sorry that I was sick. Now, do you He doesn't like being ignored there I in Argentina. No. Is there a language barrier between you and him? No, he's typing in English. Because mm -hmm. he lives here <laughs> yeah. in the U.S. Somewhere. He in, no, he's in Argentina. I don't. He, he yeah. lives in right. Fife. Yeah. Can't better think anymore. I'm not going to go there's through a, that there's again. There's a looks barrier. <laughs> All right. He may not be in Argentina though. It's fascinating. I, I really guy. don't care because I don't plan on meeting him. Right. Mm. Okay. You're done with that. You retired from that scene. I, it's not worth it. All right. <laughs> Let's see. What, what, how many times have we heard that? Okay. When are you going to retire from the park bathroom? Oh, jeez. Whoa! Uh, well, don't go there. Daily, they shut it down. All right. Thanks, Jay. Very nice. <laughs> Checking in last minute here, Terry. Yeah. Isn't that nice? Nice. Not really. <laughs> the T-Man.